I mean, like a little, like a little like kid. A seventeen year old. Oh, seventeen year old girl. She wow. That's a video of the. Oh, I think I seen. It. She took the police gun. That's how I used to start the pod, like all the time. Every, every, every. I would just start beatboxing, because there's that weird period where you don't know if it's like really started yeah, yet or not. Three, two, so you, you don't really want to like really get to talking. You don't want to just ask the first question about somebody's hood without even saying no jumper, right? Thank you. Exactly. Uh, you don't even want to like really start digging in. Unless, oh wait, because this is why I, f I think there's no chat is because it's on fan funding, which is going to be different. I gotta go to this one, and then I'll see the. We are live. Boom! Sticks in the Sticks chat. In Let's the go. Chat. Hey. Oh, yeah. yeah, yo, I'm bricked up. It's crazy. We had to yeah. see y'all. Yeah. We had to see him. We're here. I'm gonna cover it up so we can all just get in the zone because I know how that that chat will uh, destabilize <laughs> people who are weak minded. I'll start playing games with you. But anyway, how's everybody doing today? I'm chilling. We're back. It's official. We got a different version of DW Flame today. I'm gonna start there. I got a couple shots in here, kid. Do you really? Yeah. Damn. See, I heard I heard that you might uh, need to slow it down with the drinking because you might uh, you might be getting a little too loose. Yo, that's what they said on the report the, card. On what? The report card. <laughs> I thought you were talking about some real shit. <laughs> no, no, I don't know anything about. I thought you were talking about some real shit. Nah. You know, my name flawless for real. Oh, okay. Yeah, my name might as well be flawless. So, do you, do you guys resent me sending you the the report card? Um, nah, just when you said, "Oh yeah, you should look at this." Well, once I looked at it and I heard niggas speaking on grading, cripping. <laughs> It's Only crazy. certain people can do that. Right. You get what I'm saying? This is not the rap report card. Any nigga could pop up. No no shade to Dijon. Anybody could pop up and give their judgment on music. But you can't come judge this crip, and it's a whole different so thing. So for me, from my perspective, I'm feeling like the person narrating it seems like they know what's going on. Uh, from your me, perspective? I mean, and I'm not the the best That's at exactly judging what I mean. That's what I'm saying. To me, it sounds <laughs> like he's got a decent perspective. <laughs> You're telling me that it's not coming across the... First of all, he don't, he I don't, don't know. No, Do you even want me to shout it out so people can go see what grades you I got? Mean, he you don't even have it. It don't the crip report card. It ain't yeah, nothing bad. It's, 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 full disclosure, you got to be. And I got a D. That's, yeah. uh, 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 but yeah, you. And you that, feel like that's outside you know me all in. these years. You feel like he know what he talking about. No, that's one of my criticisms. Uh, of it is uh, I, I feel like when I look at it, that it's kind of like he's just going with like your most recent controversy. Exactly. And it's like because your most recent controversy was a bunch of goofy shit going on on the podcast or whatever, yeah. that's going to be the judgment of where you're at. But meanwhile, if this had been written like, you know, like, like it's, it's, it's like it's going to erase like 10 years of big gripping that Brick Baby had been putting in in these streets. But no, I didn't. He let them Allegedly. know. Look, look, this is my whole thing. I'm glad I got a D. Because at the end of the day, right, he don't know what he talk about. And if he did, how... My whole thing is the shit that he judging has nothing to do with cripping. Mm. You got to go off jail reports. You got to go off ever turning down something or ever like like when it's really active. You don't know what his score is. You don't know how many bodies he got because if, if a nigga know how many bodies you got, you going to jail. Like for the you person, what I'm saying? Like for the, you don't know the person making the video, up. I feel like that hat is probably not great for your score. Yeah. I feel like you could have maybe eked out a C minus if it wasn't for the hat. But listen to this, right? They're going to judge you for this the hat. Has, it's this, wrong. This, Let me tell you, it's wrong. I sound like some, this look, wrong. look, look, I see I'm a lot it. of, he, he going off watching the internet. <laughs> yeah. You know, and even just watching the internet is cool. That's, you know, that's that's judging off a person's character that you've been seeing. Mm. Off cripping once again, you got to know. You got to be there. Like, you know, I've been in jail with niggas from his hood, with niggas from with certain niggas on that report card for real. And I could tell you how they cripping is. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I could tell you how a nigga cripping is exactly. for real. And I could tell you what certain niggas can't even survive mm. for real. And rapping saved a lot of niggas. Come you know on, what I'm man. saying? Let's See, you're real. coming off of an alleged <laughs> W because you came out looking pretty good in the big sad beef. So they're gonna they're gonna give you a good one, but I feel like if you were like at a period where all anybody had been talking about, like say you had a viral moment on Wildin' Out, mm. they're gonna be like, you know, DW. I feel like he, he's he's kind of a Nick Cannon crip now. Right. Wildin' yeah. Out crip. Yeah, 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 he a exactly. TV crip 
You and know, I, and, I, like, and, I, and, I, and I and I am. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a TV crib too. I'm a all to, I'm a universal crib. So my shit is beyond a report card. Mm. The fuck a crib. And, Fuck just like a re crip report card. I'm an outstanding member. Grape this mask, right? <laughs> but you got to understand, I started a whole gang in this mask. That's mm. deeper than a lot of niggas hoods out here. Okay, but let's be real. Kill, Kill Squad's really more cyber of a cyber bullying gang. It's a, oh, really? Okay. We're, we're anti-cyber bullying. Oh, so you're trying to stop cyber bullying. Yeah. I thought you were trying to like promote it. No. But no. my thing is, he could, um, you know, mm -hmm. if he was somebody... Of you know no name it still wouldn't matter. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You gotta have a group of table of motherfuckers who all are elite members to say some shit like that, and that's not some shit we gon' we already have an internet cripping problems. You really? get what I'm saying about just keeping this real shit off the internet? So that shit is like it's kind of funny to watch, it but I ain't gonna lie. I just cut, I just cut it off. Like <laughs> but okay, can I tell you one thing that he said <laughs> that I found very interesting? Mm. When he was rating Savvy Third, mm. who who got a very good rating from what I recall. Shout out Savvy. Did you watch this? Chris you know, watch Fate, it. nigga. What did you think? I thought it wasn't. He was graving Hoovers and stuff too. It ain't just a crib report. With a Hoover it? Crips. Oh, yeah, all right, for sure. Yeah. So it is just he yeah. great. All right, yeah. I seen all the Hoovers was getting A's and shit. Oh, that really? lets you know kind of where he Everyone was at I, seen. With. I ain't gonna lie. If you call, if you give Big Sad to be any snitch gang, who are you? Right. I'm trying to figure it all the way out. You going like, by like, facts? Yeah, like oh, okay. On, when I asked Savvy Third what he called the cigarette or whatever, mm. and he goes a DW flame, mm. I took that the opposite of the way that the guy making that video took it. Yeah, I took just, it as him saying, like, man, DW kind of kind of foolish for that. Like he was kind of like throwing a little tiny bit of shade at you, but still saying that's your boy, that's his no. boy. He took it as. <laughs> He's basically saying that he would say the same damn thing. That's what I think. That's what he do. He don't even it. smoke cigarettes. <laughs> so day, he wasn't lingo, but besides he, all that, uh, well, for yeah, the record. This is what I this is for the for If the you most start part. smoking two packs a day because of no jumper, <laughs> fuck no. I'm gonna feel only, terrible. Only when I get extra faded. You bend I smoke. <laughs> But besides all that, like, yeah, I, I'm years even when he was just even narrating, saying certain shit, I'm like, bro, don't even know the t what he talking about. Bro, don't even know the truth or well, what he talking about. Mm. I'm like, yeah, this is it. He don't even know now. He ain't even around the homies for real. Yeah, or, you, like, know? you got it. But shout out to all the Crips. I support all the Crips. I don't give a fuck what grade you got. As long as your name ain't bad, long as, uh, as long as you still cripping for real. Or if you making a better person out of yourself, I vote yes for it. Grade them with your face out, though. Why is you not doing this showing your face? Like, why do people do that? Like, if you want to I don't know if that dude is, is fully anonymous or not. It, 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 100% I don't know. the way he did that. Yeah. I, you I, your so record got to be better than everybody on there. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Show your face. Yeah, what's your record? I didn't know that Yellow Hill got a DP for getting a Nipsey tattoo. <laughs> That's crazy. Did you know about that? <laughs> nah, I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't hear that. That's crazy. That's I, I, mean, if you, I mean, if I that's our direct it. option, you go get him. I mean, I don't know if the what the homie get tatted for getting, like, say if they got, like, you know, Snoop ain't my eye, but I'm just saying, you know, we from different. But if somebody got Snoop tatted on them, yeah, I don't, I don't, would you feel away? But, but Snoop is so legendary. Snoop a real Long Beach nigga. Though. Yeah, I was like, say, a lot Snoop of is really business. a Long Beach but nigga. But then so. when it come down to politics, like the Marvins definitely not direct, but then due that, to the fact they are, they like, yeah, it's so like, they, like, they direct like, with you. Nah, because we ain't like. If we run into a Marvin in jail, we not going to squabble with him. Mm -hmm. like, 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 it ain't a man, He, he though. might catch a back fade for a nigga. You oh, get what okay. I'm saying? Like, yeah. you got to respect that. If he really shit. homied up with the yeah, next. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, uh, some shit like that. But, nah, it would, I wouldn't call that direct. Do you think we like, should do nobody in West L.A. Should we do our own report card out here? On what? <laughs> nah. nah, I would stay out of that because I don't want to. Listen, man, listen, the direction this shit going with this internet shit, bro, I am not giving no more fuel. To the, I don't really. You agree. know, something we make it, we make it, we make it real. You know, we can say something and make shit real mm, right facts. now. <laughs> yeah, like, That's we, we notice, can right? create enough drama for weeks and weeks and weeks of content if we were to do something like yeah. that. That exactly. doesn't mean we should actually do it. I yeah. mean, 
think, I think that you're down. Uh, no, 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 that's, that's what I'm saying. That's too much. You ready for the dough knocking? I don't want to be the, uh, the the report card guy for but the, who for do the we, streets. That's what I'm saying. That proves me right. Do you feel you're you're going to be on the judge panel? For what? Because you know most of these people, right? They come vent to you all the time about their hood shit. So would you feel like that you're qualified to be on the judge panel? I don't think so. I, I don't think, I would much I don't rather think have Adam you guys is, take care of I it. I know for a fact yeah. Adam isn't qualified to be on what? the gang table. Okay, I don't want to do it, but I don't want you saying that I'm yeah. not qualified. Yeah. Hey, yeah. What the hey. fuck? I think, I think due, <laughs> due to all the people that he know enough, uh, I mean, if we, needed a, right now, if we needed an outsider, outside, yeah, yeah, yeah. outsider who's a... Yeah, uh, that knows. You, like, you he fake like affiliated. The, he like the crash officer. <laughs> he like the crash. Like, you know how crash know everything. Yeah, about right, the right. The gang unit. Right. <laughs> right. Man. I hate I, to refer to you as officer. We called okay. you gang unit. I, I'm, I am part of the gang unit. <laughs> I was with uh, Orlando Brown the other day. I got that <laughs> interview coming out any think, day now. I think Orlando Brown is not crazy. <laughs> you think he's just a pyro? I don't know. I asked that. him about that. I'm not gonna say that. He say he a crip. He be saying cuz all the time. That nigga Didn't he say funny. blood? But I thought when he was arguing with Raz B, wasn't he saying on Power? Oh, yeah. Some shit? Yeah. yeah. But just the other day, he like cuz, right. yeah, cuz. I'm telling you, cuz. I'm He's crip. not tethered to one thing. No, no. He's like he could just he could just hood hop, <laughs> hop back. He's a. What do they call it? Gender fluid? He's that for like what what he's banging. I Why think. do you want to do that though? He gender he's fluid. Just having a good that. time. But That's listen, I funny. was in jail at a time. Dude, he was in the county. Really? Don't that me. was your celly? No. He probably crazy. never could sleep with me. He just jumped out to the No, but he, he was extorting you. He the, it was a somebody from Dead End Gangsters in the Valley walking with me. Mm -hmm. And they walked by like, That's the homie. And he like, What up, girl? I'm like, No, nah, that's Orlando Brown. And How is that like, not the homie? He like he from the hood. <laughs> he and I'm he, looking at he he from your hood? No, he from Dead End Gangsters. Yeah, really? Funny. Yeah. I wish I knew this before I interviewed him so I could have called him out on a specific set. Yeah, so they what? was like, he from the hood. I'm like. No, he no, not, bro. No, like, yeah, that's what I'm like. I can't do that. All right, man. But, that's funny as fuck. You know, that's why when I hear him say Crip now, I be like. That's what come really from. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Pyro shit was probably funny, but he says "cuz" way more than he says "blood." Really? I think he's doing both. I uh, we, we <laughs> fucking why be in that mirror? I was supposed to interview him yesterday. Give him two wins. Yeah, I know. So you don't want to see him? Who? You don't want to see why be in that mirror? I got to make sure you guys aren't in here at the same time. No, I fuck with the two wins. Two wins, oh, okay. they're my niggas. I was there when two wins was getting started. You said it like it was something. They're my brothers. Okay. They're my. I got day one two wins. What is two wins? What is shout that? out Vince Stables, not being nasty. Oh, shout out right, Vin, right, right, right. Shout out Vince Stables. Shout out OT. Shout out, but shout out to my and real niggas. Shout out Shelly and Phil and them over there. Too. I was mega looking forward to the why be in the mirror interview, and then it got canceled last minute. You know, it was crazy. How you feel about why be in the mirror being a GD? Now he a crew. <laughs> Uh, see, Joel, I can't even he's speak just on that. straight Cam component it, right? Oh, that's how you feel he about it? He just hit you with the I'm title. Shout out my nigga, two in, I'm shout like, out my so nigga Joey Fats. Look, look, look. I can't tell you how he became part of their game. Oh, but he from he from two wins, though. So He said how I feel about that. I didn't know about that. No, that's the thing. That's like a real. Is that for real? But he, he said it on live. He was arguing with somebody on live, and it was like, how you went from GD to Crip? He said it just happened. Oh, oh, and then man. they laughed really hard. But uh, like, is that yeah, funny? Yeah, it is that's funny. Hella, okay, yeah. that's hella funny. I would have fell on the floor if I was arguing with a nigga and but, he said it just happened. Okay, I'm watching Namir defend himself when he's having that conversation, and I hate that we're having this conversation before he comes here because he's gonna be like, "Look at that fucking talking shit about me." I'm not talking shit. I'm just saying he's explaining why, right? And he's like, "I'm." He keeps saying, "I'm an N word." I'm an N word out here. I'm a yeah, I'm Basically, a yeah. I'm a guy. He's I live like out that. here. I, I gotta that. move around, and if this is how I'm choosing to move around, because like, let's be real, like he was a GD when he was a 15 year old kid in fucking Alabama. That wasn't no serious shit. I was a crip when I was a 15 year old. Yeah, but LA. you're lucky because you came from the realest place where you get to choose an actual oh, hood. GD in Alabama. He's That's not what I'm saying. Chicago GD. Type nah, shit. He, he picked yeah. that. But also, like, why can't he have? Two affiliations, like why can't he be by? We got crew. some homies that it's low key got because that's some other but, shit, right? It's not no, like he GDs was a blood and, and now he's a crip, right? Vice lords and bloods and GDs and crips. That's what that's, I'm saying. That we like folks and lokes. Like, that's why I'm person. saying. But no, you just you, you already a GD. Why are you trying to do that? But if he's like, but there's no GDs in Long Beach. I'm assuming. No, I don't know. You tell no, me. No. I mean, 
if he wants to roll around with people for protection or because he wants to be in a certain lifestyle, I don't know. I'm not judging like I mean, how, why he made the decision. When they go certain places, I'm not saying it's cool to jump from anything. I might not. I might not. Never. You get what I'm saying? But, but you guys are fucking privileged because you are from the place that everybody else moves to, but you take it for granted because you're from here. Yeah. It's a, but it's, it's really nothing. Look, slime, that's like slime meeting me and not being a blood no more. Slime was a teenager when I met him. He could have, like, we, we respected that. Certain niggas, we, we, we want to snatch too. Like, cuz, we going to. Cuz ain't really over there with them niggas. Cuz, cuz yeah. over here with us. But that's what I said. The two ends probably did that. Like, I don't know that story. No, I'm saying they the probably story. like he acted. Like, but yeah, we a snatching yeah, nigga. Yeah, if we see you a savage too, like us, and you moved from over there and you stay out here now, so you're recruiting them yeah. niggas. Yeah, we gonna recruit no, 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 Cuz. No, no, and, no, you get, and you get, <laughs> and you get into some chili. Come on. Oh, probably but never recruit a nigga. I'm just like good. I, I'm, he might need us. This already my friend. Let me see you out here. That's funny. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying time. he already <laughs> my nigga. Like we yeah, niggas yeah, every nah, day. He gonna put him up. He under automatically our saying the shit we say and all that now. But that's yeah. why the street thing makes no sense because you guys are with no jumper. If a couple weeks from now you get a call from ABC and they say Brick Baby DW, we want you to host the Tonight Show. Yeah, you can. Just not be with No Jumper anymore. It could be like, yeah, No Jumper was great, but I got this offer. I'm I'm hosting the Tonight Show. They're paying me a million dollars. You know, like that well, that makes make, sense. That's how it's supposed to be. The game go. thing doesn't make sense because why can't Namir graduate and go on to do bigger and better things with his life? It's like you got to be stuck with this one thing. Even if I'm guessing, it's he don't even know thing, any gang, GDs. He was like a kid when he was saying that shit, right? I don't know. Maybe he knows like some people from no, back in the 15 day. Fifteen in Alabama is twenty one. Let's, 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 I feel like he was playing Kia a lot of GTA. 13. The Kia boys are 13, 12 and 13. They're driving at 15. I They're feel like that. Shit. I don't think Namir was living that lifestyle at 13. I'm going to be totally so. honest with you. You don't think so? I My assumption. We're going to need him to come clear this shit up. See, now we got a whole. A That's why I might need to be here. Maybe, maybe uh, I'm wrong. Like, yeah. But I don't I, feel like that is is comparable to you changing know. your lifestyle I now. I don't know. He was a kid. Here you go. You bullshit. Why are you asking asking what's, your, what's your issue? All right, I'm just asking questions. What I did is I was 12 issue? years old. Kill low key just, I fought with him. You lucky spit that one out, though. Because we were supposed to interview him. That was one of the questions I had for bro. Uh, we're going to ask him. How you feel about it? I ain't a gang member, so I don't know. But it seemed like you but feel like so. <laughs> the way you yeah. ask me, you feel if you. I thought I was on the feel? assumption that you can't be from two different gangs. That's what I thought. Once you with some <laughs> shit, he drop one. Shit. No, and he says when he's talking about, it, he says put ons exist, put offs exist, implying that he, he got did put both. Off. Did he get put off over there? If, if he got put off if over he there, put he, off, he could go somewhere. Right well, if he got put asked off, him, he, he, he said it right just way. happened. He didn't say, I got put It happened. If he chose to get put off, like, hey, put me yeah, off, cuz I'm tired of this shit. Yeah. And we put you off, you could get on. Not a lot of niggas do that. But I think, yeah. like, he moved out to Long Beach. He's hanging out with Joey Fats. He's hanging yeah, out with all out these Joey. That's my cool day dudes in Long Beach. And then, you know, he's just kind of like, I fuck with y'all. I want to be affiliated with this. Why am I even? He probably wasn't even thinking about some shit that he used to say on the right, internet when right, he was fifteen. Right, right, I don't right. know, bro. That's probably what it is. He probably used to just claim that when he was little. You could claim some shit. Niggas used to claim shit all day, but you really For got sure. put on the game. <laughs> if you really got put on over here, then nigga, that shit is out. I Who, used to. Claim who's gonna it. claim Remo? I ain't claiming shit. So you're 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 atheist. This nigga said atheist. You're atheist. Rima, you, Rima. You, you don't want to believe in none of this shit. Rima, no, I'm chilling. Okay, right, I'm that's chilling. good to know. It's good Even to know. Mississippi yeah. division, man. Can I make an important announcement that I think will be of notice of, or of note to you? So everybody knows I got a cease and desist about uh, the loose cannon interview that I did with Wack 100. And a, ce a cease and desist Damn. showed up from the one and only. Never thought my life would go in this direction. Never thought I would be getting a legal notice from... <laughs> The big man himself. Oh, big yeah, I just seen y'all. You. Big you said he ain't feeling that big shit. Yusufer. Big Yusufer. Big Yusufer. Is that a diss? Who called, I think yeah. that's a whack term. I don't want to say that. But I get the cease and desist. And so at first, I'm taking it as a joke. I'm thinking, you know, this is stupid. I'm a member of the press. I can interview whoever I want. Whoever I want. Uh, whoever I interview can say whatever the fuck they want. 
And I'm just thinking, you know, it's not a big deal. I'm protected as a member of the media, et cetera. I send it to my legal team. They basically said that as far as these kind of cases go, where on one end you have libel, where you're basically smearing somebody's name and like putting accusations on them that could damage their business, et cetera. And then on the other side, you have free speech. Yeah. They said they think that there's a significant chance that if I went to court about this, I could prevail, but it could potentially be a lengthy legal battle. And that from their legal perspective, when you have free speech over here and libel over here, or defamation or whatever word I'm uh, <laughs> attempting to use, yeah. our case is a little bit closer to the defamation side. So oh, from right. our perspective, we have decided to back away from this. This is not a narrative that I was really interested in pushing in the first place. The idea that Big U had any sort of uh, you know criminal doings in his uh, adult life or that you know that he was involved with anything with Nipsey. This is not something I ever really bought in on. It was kind of a surprise to me that it got trotted out on the podcast. I don't have to make this kind of statement about no, why we decided sure. to move it or whatever, remove it or whatever. But you know, I, I did ultimately make the decision to take it down. I'm not sure if the other outlets that have interviewed uh, Luce, Luce, Luce Cannon, like yeah, uh, Tasha K, or everybody. even academics, I'm not sure if they're being served with this notice as well, like if Big U's coming for everybody. Yeah, he, he, I think he's... But I decided to everybody. take a step back. So if there's a, a dip in our social blade that day of uh, many, many hundreds of thousands of views, that's why. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I do think... We can have conversations about anybody on here, but when somebody gets on here and basically says this person was involved in a murder, that's kind of where we got to take a step back and say, it, it, "Okay, this is this is a little too much." So, it was it was it was I, I didn't put too much thought in, into it about putting it out. I didn't really like grasp that it was going to be that explosive, yeah. even though I think I titled it the most explosive episode <laughs> so far. That's crazy. But look, the the whole thing is this though, right? Everybody know that Big U is changing his life. Everybody know that his son is in the NFL and all of this stuff. Like, why pick a time like this when he's trying to do movies and all this shit to come up here live as Loose Cannon and them? Like, what is y'all angle? Like, I thought that street niggas couldn't talk about cases that was open and then you go on the camera or just say it was open. You go on the camera and say that somebody's involved with robberies and murders and all of that shit. Like as a street nigga, that's. Yeah, like, personally, you're not supposed to. That's that's because nobody murders or if, if a nigga did murder. Book, if they not you know booked for it, like why yeah. would you talk <laughs> Especially about Especially if a nigga ain't been to jail for it. That, that right there. You know, niggas, real niggas get punishment for shit like that right there. Mm. But I'm not shit. I don't. I don't even know what's. <laughs> I wouldn't come do no shit like that. And then on the other end, I would hope, you know, because you can't even handle shit the right way no more. You get what I'm saying? So I. This is my thing. Is I feel like that episode was out for like two months, mm -hmm. and I've been awaiting proof of what was said about the big you thing. And I haven't really seen any proof. Now, maybe, <laughs> maybe it just hasn't been brought to my attention. And for sure, okay, fast forward. Say, Did you hear the AI shit? No. What was that? Go ahead. Let you finish the fast what forward. What was the AI shit? So he made an AI of he was on live with Eddie Boy. Uh, and he made, like, an AI. He like, I'm finna play. I'm finna play you a clip. You think Loose like, Cannon made it? Yeah, it's a oh, hey, okay. nephew. Nipsey did. That's all it said. <laughs> Kill it? Yeah. <laughs> no, and he, he like played God. this on Clubhouse played, or something. He played it on live. It was Instagram live or some shit. What? Yeah. Listen, Loose Cannon. I'm not saying you're a liar or anything. <laughs> I'm just saying I need to see further proof. Now, let's say fast forward six months. Big U gets arrested. This is hypothetically for these acts. Yeah. Then all of a sudden. That interview becomes completely fair game, and it's an important historical record. And like, we all have to look at it and say, "Oh my God, Loose Cannon, I'm so sorry. We all misjudged you. You're a fucking genius. You you were telling the truth the whole time." Do if, you? If, no, I'm saying that could happen. I'm saying, but I don't. I don't really like feel told. like it seems that likely. But so you get a trophy at no. I say if switch. you look, look, no, but, that, but is it that would, called it the Flacco be, Trophy? It would be fair to keep it up if we really like no, had no, a no, reason no, to believe right. that. We're I taking say, it down I, because we don't feel I like we have. If, you if you're speaking on a nigga name that much or saying something with that type of strong accusation to it, 
you have to have it right then and there. Right. That's it. Just have it for me, cuz don't tell me nothing without the proof. But it was a promo run for the TV show, and I'm not sure that the TV show has, you know, validated these claims, right? Because a few episodes have been out. And and, uh, and I seen not Reggie Wright or whatever saying like, oh, like we're gonna see you on Valentine's Day. That's when it's coming out and shit. Yeah, it's been six weeks since Valentine's Day, and I ain't seen it shit. Still so. has it. You been tapped in? You subscribe to uh to was it, was it Urban Flix? I think so. Yeah, yeah, no, I haven't actually signed up for Urban Flix. I still have my Zeus membership. Yeah, and so I seen that there's a new episode with Brittany Renner. Kind of tempted to watch that, see her ass jiggle around and shit mm-hmm. a little bit, but. I don't know. I, I, uh, Wait, I, so it comes on Zeus too? No, but oh. I have Zeus because yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I would watch one episode of Baddies. You like that ratchet shit on the level? <laughs> Not really. It was fucking retarded, but I, ain't got I Zeus. respect it. You don't have Zeus. I, I ain't got Zeus, but I think on one of my apps to a third party or to a second party, you, you, get, third you party. can get to Zeus. You I can get, get to this. Zeus, it, but no, nah, I don't watch. I don't watch girls fighting. And I want to meet the people who sit around the house all day watching Zeus. Oh yeah, maybe because yeah, I don't sit around. <laughs> I don't sit yeah. around. Yeah. Like, mm. They outside right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> the girls do for sure, but I, maybe I don't sit around the house all day, dude. Some of the girls who've like worked for Plug yeah. Talk over the years. They're watching like Love Island and like Too Hot to Handle, and they got like all this knowledge about fucking different dating game shows and shit. And I'm just like, what is what is wrong with you? I don't understand. Uh, I have to play an ad real quick. Uh, those of you out there will know that I'm a big poker guy, and I have a uh, an ad for the poker site America's Card Room, aka ACR Poker, that I actually made. So me and me and the guys put this together. Let me know what you think. This week we are sponsored by ACR Poker. I personally play on ACR many, many hours a week, and I can personally attest to how much fun it is. For those of you who don't know much about poker, there are two main ways to play the game. Firstly, you can play tournaments where hundreds or sometimes even thousands of players all face off against each other to try and get first place. Or if you don't have time for that, you can also play cash games where you sit down with cash on the table and play against other people. There's this mode that I really like on ACR called Blitz Poker, which basically seats you at a new table as soon as you fold your hands so you're able to play hundreds of hands per hour you don't have to invest a lot of money to get in on the fun either you can play tournaments and cash games for as little as a couple of dollars or you can play the big boy stuff like the two thousand six hundred and fifty dollar venom tournament going down later this month where first place is well over a million dollars if you're interested sign up at acrpoker.eu and make sure to use the code no jumper to let them know that i sent you that's acrpoker dot eu link is in the description code no jumper appreciate you guys you like that i've been thinking about doing that for a while that's good that's I dope think I, yeah. wait you couldn't hear it you didn't have the headphones on I and you every, didn't have them on i, I, I heard every word good. clear. oh you heard it through yeah, oh okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. i heard every word clear i, I felt really, i want to play that shit felt really hurt there for a second i thought yeah. you go, so I'm, so I'm, you can play regular poker, though, cash <laughs> games i know i know it was that yeah, but now i'm you asking that was your hard work you, you like that that's like my little school project no because i i hit up the site i hit up acr and i was like listen i got this idea i'm gonna put together this ad we're gonna run on the podcast because they don't they're poker people they don't yeah. fucking do marketing to people yeah. outside poker or whatever but they got a new subscriber because yeah. you know i'm a fucking poker head i just put like the shit on top like the you know have shit moving on the top ooh, ooh, why you do that like and then have it go to it wait what <laughs> on your what, video what, what do you, oh in the video or in you think video. i should have done more more no, acting no, you or did what? exactly no. what you're opposed to see a lot of people are saying w ad and that's confusing <laughs> <laughs> they got you they got you pulling shit up and shit uh, like you fucking academics no I'm just like, like in my head I'm like wait what are they talking about <laughs> yeah. what you do gotta, you guys what do you do oh 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 I, I just caught that <laughs> anyway I don't like how have we been on here for a half hour I feel like we haven't even gotten started yet have what, we? what is going on what are right, we doing we feel like 15 minutes huh? we're jigging and finessing we're jigging and finessing we snorted blow before we started it. That's a sick idea. The picture in the bathroom. You don't snort blow, so don't today, don't don't today tempt me with a good time. You did it. today. No, tomorrow. I mean, whenever we whenever we come back Tuesday, we're all gonna be on blow. I'm not snorting blow, and right, if I do, going? it's gonna be with compa right here. No, he's what? not. His blow is mixed. He got the good shit. I nah, bet. You got this. What's up, guy? We going to New York? Are you? Yeah, I'm again. You're coming out. Why not? I heard about this plan. I like the I like the idea. I'm already gonna be doing a movie in New York, bro. Peep the squad. Me, 
Remo, right. Trap Lore Ross, right. 1090 Jake, right. Desto Dub, right. Brick Baby. Brick Baby, DW Flame, you know, Talk your take on New York City. Oh, I'm, yeah, definitely bring In all the New clips out. New York! Hey, well, at least you keep shit. Right just, well, I'll tell you Cla- that. Yeah, yeah, clip know. that up. Let the homies <laughs> know. Let all the homies know we on the way. Yes. That's what I'm saying. What gang do you think that we should yeah. tap in with out there? Mine, nigga. We out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Yeah, we know. Yeah. Yeah. Why are we out there? Go we out there. You yeah. the New York division? Yeah. What? It's hella. 23rd Street. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, for sure. I want to learn more. I can show you videos. I bring all the crips out when I come out there. Damn, all right. Yeah. Hey, let me in Brooklyn, too. Same thing. Bro, I got a strip club night planned. Oh, you I already been city? to the strip club with you. Which one? Yeah. Which one, though? We went in Vegas. We're bottle. We're bottle horse. Yeah, we're bottle boys. Ten ninety J trying to go to Starlets. Mm-hmm. We going that's what to I was Starlets. Say. Yeah, okay, that's where we're going. We're going. To we're going to Starlets. Clip that up yeah. too. I've been trying to wrap my head around what <laughs> drill rappers I should tap in with to a do content and b like go out with, like go to the strip club. We got to go to the strip club with some drill rappers, right? Need mm-hmm. some shysties in the building. So mm-hmm. we got we got securities that can carry out there because you yeah because you know it's real tight out there. You know I'm real tight out there. Listen, because listen, you talk about drill rappers, New York. Yeah. Tell them to bring me an extra one. But I'm gonna tell them. They good? <laughs> listen, if the drill rappers start getting into it, that ain't our politics. <laughs> At all. Protect me. Yeah. <laughs> Do not protect the sweepers. They're he, they're in their own world. He done interviewed all y'all apps, so you know he don't got no loyalty. Hey, He's a part two two of this G's, shit. you are on your own. I'm even coming. if we go to the strip club, hey, 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 you're hey, on your party. own. We ain't even worried about none of that. See, I'm not even worried know. about that. I got to do deep Google dives before I go like start yeah, hanging start, out with don't, rappers don't out there. Don't invite the wrong people. Though. That's what I'm saying. I will. <laughs> I will invite the wrong That's people. That's what he does on purpose. Create a, a commotion. That's stupid as fuck. No, I'm just. That's what he does. He he do it on accident for sure. Like, oh yeah, shit. You guys aren't cool with that dude. No, because. Okay. That's what happened to me the last function I went Those to. who have watched the Adam Twenty uh, the Adam and Wax show will know that they sprung it on me. Did you watch the clip? Uh-uh. They're like, aha, we brought Brick Babies up here. Who? Oh. I didn't want to watch it. Okay. I didn't want to watch <laughs> What did he, did he say something about it? was it? I think he dissed you a little bit, but like, he didn't say anything too crazy. What did he just say? I, do you not want to say his name? You want to whisper it to it's, him or it's something? It's pesky. You know a little bit oh, nose, Pesci. But what's your relationship with him? Because I don't even get, like, how you guys know each other. Pesci, the dude in the gray. Pesci, that's my little brother, right? I've been home. Me and Pesci been fucking around. When I came home, he was fucking with me. I was fucking with him. Information started leaking uh-huh. through not Pesci. He will never, he would never admit that it's that. But okay. a picture came to my phone, and they like, hey, uh, the little short big booty nigga just sent me this shit, right? The little thick one that you got the uh, interview with. Whack? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> like, like, oh, I'm trying to figure it out. I didn't know who the fuck was. The little short big booty nigga, right? <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. And I look, and it's a picture that I, that Pesci <laughs> is the only person that, that has this picture. Okay. And it's of my wife. So I'm like, Pesci, did you just send this nigga this picture? He like, no, uh, I had uh whoopy whoop whoop it was somebody else. I'm like, bro, what are you doing, bro? Like, what are you doing? Cause mind you, he that the one that told whack with the price of the bill and all that shit because you was hitting my wife. You did sent the message through Cash App to get to her and all of that. And he so like, you're saying this was your name? boy and he was sneaking info He's to whack. Oh, what? But he from Whack Hood, so it's like, all right, it's cool. Stay over there. You were fucking with him on what level? Like, what are y'all doing together? Just we on a podcast, but Pesci's <laughs> okay, right, a right, cool right. dude, though. You know what I mean? He was, but you start doing that, and that's only because this dude is promising rap careers. You know how that goes. So it's like, and he, you see how innocent he is. He ain't never did nothing, bro. He ain't. He's not even really like. From the streets, they so just you're like not even you're not paying that shit no mind. Nah, 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 not definitely. If he did, and he was trying to, he just had a conversation like Big Bro. Da, da, da. He just did the Big Bro. I love you, so I know he didn't go back in. I didn't even want to see it. Mm. I'm like, okay. Nah, sometimes you got to see it because that's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga right here. <laughs> no, nah, that is true, though. Like, a lot of times I just don't watch the shit that other people are talking about, so I never really end up with, like, a strong opinion about it. Yeah. And it's like, it's kind of a weird feeling because it's like, I know I would have some good-ass content if I did watch I it, but I just don't feel like it. My cousin locked up. I'm going to tell him I'm going to help him get his bail real quick. Okay. 
Hold on, okay. I just don't want to keep ignoring her call. Hello? Hold on. <laughs> where where, where guy is that? She got... Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could step outside if you want to do it out there, or do you want, do you want people to hear the, what this process is like? No, no, no. He got one sec. She got to come on. Hey, P, here. Tell, tell, it's going to be Wayne. I think I need a couple of dollars for his bail. Tell Kyle I'm going to shoot a couple of dollars in a second. He up here, fly them, brought them Flying for the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you bailing them out? Uh, yeah, yeah. He That's just went down. Do his, he was just in the car with me. Police outside, whatever. I go the way everybody don't go. He just, he see his, a little girl and say, hey, let me in the car with her. DW, stop her. Jumped out the car. Bye. They got hit. Yeah. So you guys were driving around together, and you took off in one direction. And I didn't you went take the other? off. I just drove normally. Yeah. Uh, everybody, everybody just was leaving where we was at because it was too many of us, huh? Oh, that's on a, the that's phone. Or keep it when she, yeah, she gonna call back. You and you and him are good. That's my, oh yeah. That's my what, my brother, <laughs> my brother P. Nice in the building, y'all. There's a lot of rumors. This man, that motherfucking rumors don't exist, man. They were saying he put hands on you. <laughs> I didn't see it. I was there. That's all it got good. a little heated. It got it got heated. He said no I, comment. As a as a as a, as a what on Clubhouse? We don't gotta relive Listen. Kill Station night. Listen, uh, kill Station. Is that the birthday? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. <laughs> that's only you. Kill I don't appreciate you coming in here speaking on the same shit three times. Oh hey, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bit, oh, 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 we got to call that club. On SC. <laughs> Sorry. That's what I'm saying. No gangplay. This is the fifth time. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to relive it's all the, those memories because it was just so hard to like explain that era to people. People would be at, my girl would be asking me. I'd be like, I said, people, my girl be young, even a girl asking. <laughs> She's like, what? So what? What happened? Why? Why did this happen? I'm like, it's like, it's, you, it's too much to explain. Especially to Lena. Yeah, she's too pure. You have to, yeah. Ironically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. She's too pure for the street stuff. She don't sure. like all that. I came in. She's like, why did you knock on the door all crazy? I'm like, I, I did. She's like, everything's crazy right now. I had to tell her. Because like, no, she heard you high. arguing with somebody outside, and she got a little freaked no, out. we didn't argue till we walked back. It was just getting hot. I, we, when I came in, I just knocked and I walked in. No, this was like a while ago. You were arguing with somebody outside. And she, she was like texting me, like, Brick Baby's arguing with. Oh, yeah, that's after. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, because some people. No, this was at, not the kill squad. Yeah, night. I know. Yeah, yeah, not. Nah. Motherfuckers be having a on a period all the time, bro. <laughs> it's weird around this motherfucker sometimes. Is it? Yeah. I'll be, I be the one chilling. <laughs> the drunk one, I mean, the messy that's drunk. Crazy, <laughs> hey, hold on, see, that's why I had to. Hey, that's why I had to slow down on this motherfucker. So you watched the report card and you, you were like, nah, Damn, before right. that, before, too I much. watched my own shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fuck the report card. When he got to talking about me, I'm like, oh yeah, he don't know the truth. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like uh, you, don't even, there, like, you don't even know because because he didn't do no homework because I have like extraneous accolades that make me extraneous is a dope word. Yeah, I'm talking about like some of the best badges you could get. Really? Yeah. yeah. You ain't never seen a lot of them people you talking about in action. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You ever been to Atlanta? <laughs> I've been to Atlanta. Oh, okay. Probably haven't done a lot of the things that you've done out there, um, but. Yeah, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, because that was the criticism of you too, is that you're on here too fucked up. Oh, me? They were saying he's too drunk, and they're saying you he said be on that, here a little that, too perked up. In that, in that first episode with me, you and Wack, that was the most extreme version of DW that I we was have seen. comfortable, and I still would have performed on and performed <laughs> if I was sitting outside and somebody walked past crazy. You would have seen me snap out differently. But yeah, I was. I'm a normal human like everybody else. You feel me? I get faded mm. and cool when I'm comfortable. So it don't matter. That was a little cool. To rub me a blunt. That was a little cool. Um, you want tell your girl to do oh, it? Yeah. She's dealing with the baby. That's gonna be a, a whole thing. She's gonna have to juggle the baby on the blunt. You can roll a blunt in podcasts, right? She's a professional juggler. I've seen her juggle. Really? Yeah. She. So Mother. I'm with her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so did any of you guys uh, see any of the insane podcasts that I did Friday? Uh, you talking about Flacco? No, I did a podcast with uh, Compa Raider, uh -huh. Lush, and I seen Bees. Clips. I seen clips like. of Swifty Blues page. Yeah. So let me break it down. <laughs> 
This was very impromptu because uh, the other side did uh, No Jumper Reunion, basically. Yeah. They had like all the old hosts or whatever. They got everybody together. And I decided to make a statement about the fact that No Jumper is not about rehashing reruns. A lot of those hosts in that room didn't exactly work out as on-air hosts. Some of them did. You know, you got to give AD and Tyr all their credit. They got their own fan bases and everything, But and, and Flacco even. But, you know, a lot of those people are people who realistically, they were on podcasts on here for a while, didn't really work out, had to move on. And so I don't uh, begrudge them the right to do their own reunion, but I wanted to do a show where we fucked with some different talent, some new faces and stuff. Obviously, Lush has been around, but, you know, he has only done one episode in like the last year or whatever. So I decided, you know, if I'm going to do something on Friday for the people to just really show them that we're about talking to new, interesting people, building up new personalities, I thought, why not give it a shot? I go outside to meet Lush. He's got a, a Modelo tall can mm-hmm. in his hand. And that would prove to be somewhat uh, indicative of where this was going. You're right. Yeah. We get on here. Comparator. He's got two big ass bottles of Henny. It was a fourth person too, right? And then, well, yeah, partway through, okay. this dude Bees comes, and we'll get into yeah, Bees yeah, yeah. in a second. But so Comparator comes. He's got these two bottles of Henny, and I've never seen this guy not in the process of getting drunk, like ever. Like yeah. every, every single time I've ever been around him, he's been basically like on a bender, like going for it, like yeah. getting <laughs> fucked up yeah. aggressively. Smashing shit. Now, I have never seen him consume any substances besides alcohol. Yeah. With your own eyes. There is speculation that he might either be uh, you know off of what? A Coke robot or a crystal? There's there's so, allegations that he could be uh like Lush, a warrior. cocaine bot or like lefty gunplay, a Scante warrior. I don't know. I have no idea. But I will say that there are certain times where you're around <laughs> comparator and <laughs> It's just obvious that this is more than alcohol. <laughs> this is this can't just be alcohol, right? All right, wait, does his jaw move? Does his what do he, he got all the yeah. do he <laughs> not move? I mean, does he not stop moving? There's times where you're like you're moving a lot. And you you're, follow Swifty Blue? Right. What do you do? Swifty Blue hates him, so they're Wait, always going back on Did you see the clip on, on his page? I did. <laughs> he, he, he said that was, was, that was that worse was than my fucking booted right right up moment. But bro, this is the crazy <laughs> that thing. That was on the sick ass one. This is the crazy thing about Comparator is that he fucking comes on here and does some stupid shit that pisses me off. My bad, Betty. Yeah, well, but he like this one. This pissed me <laughs> off because he was talking way too much. We're trying to like actually get a conversation going, and he's just like interjecting, saying like random shit. And I'm trying to like podcast coach him in real time to be like, bro, you gotta chill. You gotta stop. This is too much. And he like, and I keep saying one mic, which is like one mic is like my attempt at telling everybody to stop interrupting without radio. But I'm trying to be kind of polite. You just say one mic. That sounds cooler than like Remo, shut up Mm -hmm. or stop fucking talking over each other, which I've said stuff like that. Radio in the county, we say radio, 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 radio. Radio. I mean, everybody be quiet while we're talking. talking. It's just like if somebody's got that level of status. No, the radio, like anybody try, could call radio. Like, when you're trying to listen to the radio mm. on the tier, it might be so low down mm. the tier that people got to stop talking while they play music. Mm. That's where the time. Anybody could call before. radio, though. But yeah, anybody could call the radio. But okay, comparator. Kind of. His, 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 his might get your ass with calling the yo, radio. His <laughs> first <laughs> interview, he he's he's late as fuck. He's an hour late. I told him I can't do it. He gives me a pound of weed. I'm like, okay. All, all is forgiven if you give me a pound of weed I guess like sure. okay sure. sure you know whatever yeah sure that's great this, this thing he fucking kind of pisses me off because he got so drunk that he's like his head down like he's fucking he, and when I said one mic he starts saying it to me over and over and over like yeah. one mic one mic dude. hey one mic like he's just saying it like when I'm talking and shit like he's right, he's right, just right. saying it over and over like cause he's pissed Nigga, off that I used fuck. it on him that's funny as fuck and so this kind of pissed me off the next day he fucking drives like Five hours and does like a fucking super crazy drunk vlog with Chito Ranas. Yeah. So like he just he he like kind of fucks up on here. Boom! Like two days later, he fucking just goes on this crazy mission <laughs> and gets like a fire piece of content. Yeah. I've, I've heard a bunch of shit. I haven't actually watched it yet, but I heard it's insane. That's crazy. So like, I got on mean, the same good one though. He was on a good one. And, okay, <laughs> but the crazy thing about him too is that if you just watch him on here, you might think that Comparator is like a fucking. 
like a tweaker. Like he's like a full blown like <laughs> they, they, he might like be in Skid Row and shit. But no, no, but no, bro, no. no, he owns a fucking sushi restaurant. He's iced though. He got money. He's fucking got some crazy kind of weed business shit going. Trash bag legal. boys, whatever. Yeah, and it's legal. I don't understand how he manages to balance like all this business shit with being on the level that he Tell gets him, to he on probably this could podcast. Laugh, he probably could laugh at that. Scarface. He probably fucking you up. That means I'm fucking you up. If you can't His definition of a bender is I'm when you're partying it. for three days straight. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, that is a bender. That's what he looks like the he fuck does. Yeah. If I have like eight beers, that's a bender. Oh, no, no. Yeah. A bender is days straight. For sure. You bender? You do benders? I'm just saying. Future yeah, I'm just saying. Because <laughs> you've come in here a few times where you were like basically telling me that you were on a bender. I just said I was fucked up from yesterday. Yeah, but you seemed like you didn't really like stop. You like continued. They say the best thing rolling. for a hangover is to keep it going. Sometimes I make, yeah, I make the best shit when I'm thugging how I thug. Sometimes I thug. You sleep every night? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Do you? No. Not every night? It depends on if I go G5 or if I go perk. You really take pills G6. like that? G6. G6. You take E pills like that? Not like that. Damn, bro. Just once in a blue? kind of old. Do we? E pills do something different Them to you. Big joints, though. That's crazy. I'm Them fucking right. It's huge. How often Tesla's do you do that? and all that. Like once a month, twice a month. But yeah. I'm up. We got an FBG butter on our hands right here. Look yeah. at that. Smack us. <laughs> no, if I want to go to the studio and get shit done... What I'm gonna do? Pull up and pop uh, perks and zans like, and I'm really trying to work. I gotta kind of get in there. Why don't you drink a cup of Starbucks? Adderall, <laughs> but I can take an Addy though too. It don't have to be a a, a XZ pill. Like the XZ pill is like when I'm trying to do some like nasty fucking when I leave the studio and all that too. Nasty fucking. Yeah, really. Who are you fucking? Oh, Wait, Man, that's right. crazy. Damn, bro. No, nah, I'm fucking hurt. I feel like I'm learning more about you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Her woman. Yeah. yeah, she's a woman. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't know that you still dabbled in the e pills. I was off a Tesla at your birthday party. <gasps> that's dope. Hell yeah. Uh, no wait, actually, that's bad. It's bad. I'm, look, a, look, I'm against look, that. That should have gave. You're gonna you use one. that shit against me. Yeah, look, I should have just gave you one, bro. I wouldn't. Bro, I probably would have had a lot more fun. Yeah. Even if I just nibbled it, because that day at my birthday party, I had been up since like six, seven in the morning. That party goes till two o'clock in the morning. I was by the end of it, bro. I was I. People, what, people what you take to at me. your birthday? Nothing. Nothing. I was smoking cigarettes. Damn, that's sweet. I didn't even drink. You didn't drink. Damn, that yeah. sucks. What you you love alcohol so much you can't even I imagine took, uh, living life without it, huh? Like smoking just cigarettes <laughs> sucks. What call it what you want to call it. Uh, you thought that you bad. said something, <laughs> but you just say you just smoke cigarettes all no, night. No, okay. This is why. It's because I was at the crib and I grabbed the white claw and I drank it yeah. and I felt like a little bit of indigestion. Mm. My chest, it just didn't feel really good. And I was yeah. just like, you know what? I would probably uh, feel better if I don't drink all yeah, night. And then I just didn't drink. If but you would have took something with the liquor, say, you would have it would have killed that you for the pop, night. Pop, pop yeah, a Pepsi. Yeah, yeah no. Nah, yeah, a little half nah, a Pepsi. fuck that. What? You're on the E team too? I mean, I th What? I don't really you know yeah. what I'm saying. I'm more open than everybody else. You can't ask it. Bro, if I but, see nah, you two yeah, together, I'm just saying that. that I just, yeah, I'm that. rolling, rolling, rolling. I ain't slept in weeks. Yeah. Is you rolling? If I see you Is two you? on that level together, I'm a freak out. That would be insane. You probably won't be able to tell. People be like, DW, I can't even tell. I could tell you it was lit. But I couldn't tell you it was doing that. Yeah, you if you take an e-pill, you're going to turn into the Incredible Hulk. Uh, I'll be like... In my per, from my perspective, I think I turn smoother off of EP. Yeah, my eyes get, get crossy. That's it. You might think that, but I feel like the girls are probably actually like, get them away from me. Tomorrow, <laughs> I'm, no, starting, actually, tomorrow I'm, I'm having, starting my. Um, I'm, I'm having all the quagmire. smoothest. I'm having all the smoothest shit to say to the girls. Nah, off the he, he turns like into, he into a player. Off the drugs, yeah, it just it, pour it, out. Yeah, it just pour out. It just go in and that. But tomorrow, out. I'm starting my sobriety journey again. Really? Again. I know some girls too. who just did 75 hard Damn. days. It's like super strict diet. You got to exercise two different times per day. Mm -hmm. All this shit. I don't know. I don't think I'm ready for it. I don't think they were on drugs before that. No, it's just for like people who want to get in shape and shit. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So back to the bees. How did bees end up on here? Okay. So basically, Comparator is, is pouring up mad shots. Lush is taking a couple shots 
I'm taking a couple shots. I feel like I might have even had the equivalent of like three, four shots throughout the course of the three hour podcast, right? I felt fine. I felt totally fine. Lush at one point gets up and I knew something was up because he's walking like this. He's walking like a little penguin. And like, I, I've, it's kind of weird because I've like told him he looked like uh, Danny De- DeVito performing the penguin in the past. I'm pretty yeah. sure I've made that joke to him. So, yeah. but, but he's like, you know that walk of like, oh, he's about to die. Yeah. I was just like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, and then he, he admitted that he fucking was puking from the alcohol in the bathroom. So I don't know if he was like Damn. loaded before he got here. Cause I don't think when he really makes alcohol with Fitty. You probably do get nauseous. And Why are no, you assuming that he's on fentanyl? I just, uh, listen, man. Imagine trying to be normal. Are you serving lush? I, if I'm serving fentanyl right now, I'm about to do life. So <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I probably never serve nobody. You know, fentanyl, bro. If you sold lush, the Fetty that took him out, that would be. That took him out. Iconic. You'd be. You'd go down as a villain, like, a legend. You'd. Re- you'd be the penguin. But I'm the legend, right? Oh, that's legend shit, right? You told me. Is that legendary? You well, told hey, me the killer is always the, a legend. No, but the guy who, who who served Mac Miller that killed him. But you oh, told yeah, me yeah. to I mean, he was all in the shit. news and shit. I'm not going to call him a legend, but he was all in the news. Like, is I mean, he, is he he's more villain? famous than the average person, right? Is he a villain? Is he a villain? Yeah, basically. Yeah, nah, yeah. Mac, my boy. That's why I don't like to make fun of Right, I'm not even but, making a joke, but it's like. You're a villain if you fucking serve somebody the drugs that kill him, right? That's what he wanted. But we not, also uh, not the not the not the fentanyl. No, no, I, I don't even say, know if I believe no, no, he wanted no, them no. drugs. Hold on, though. hold on. He wanted if them drugs. If you ask for fentanyl yeah. plane, it's your fault. But do we know that about Mac? We don't, don't know Mac, exactly. No, we don't Mac know the truth. Mac had a fake perk. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Uh, but you ask for fentanyl plane. And for a lot of people out there who selling fake drugs, cause that's retarded as fuck. That's Just get but the they real probably, drug that motherfuckers want or leave that shit alone. They getting that shit off Timu. They don't know what the fuck is in that yeah, shit. Okay, you buying fake drug. You take it first. That's how you know. They is takers. Them die. they don't die. Because <laughs> people are just die. built differently, right? That's yeah. crazy, cuz. Niggas first of all, niggas is already killing themselves, taking whatever the fuck they taking. Then on top of that, you want to do some weird shit. They shouldn't be taking I, it, but you shouldn't be selling. I've it. witnessed somebody take like 25 fake blues in a day. Yeah, but it's a <laughs> niggas just asking, niggas asking for I that. See, nah, uh, and then wake up and take twenty. I'm pretty more. sure they would prefer the real thing, though, right? No. Okay, that sounds. And, stupid. Anyway, Lush was not on fentanyl, as far as I could tell. Yeah, but he did puke, and then he came back in and really like soldiered through the rest of the podcast. But he didn't really have like the level of enthusiasm that he might have normally. A soldier through, <laughs> which actually like seeing this, like you gotta understand the whole time that Lush was on the podcast before he was sober, doing his Alcoholics Anonymous shit. Going through? So this is like a new Lush for me to see, like a version of him that comes in and he's fucked up. Like Same that's yeah. a whole so new you thing. Had a great yeah, conversation. He he I never even oh, yeah. knew him before he I'll got sober. Great podcast. Even the last time I was with him, he didn't do shit. The shit. Okay, so. Comper Raider, crazy, interrupting, acting like a total wild man. Then Lush, good at first, but then basically throws up and becomes kind of like a shell of himself. And then Bees shows up. Is that the same Bees from off of the Back on Fig thing? I don't know that he's actually been on Back on Fig, but he's, he was he's the under re- the umbrella yeah. emoji. No, he was at the reunion thing. He, no. That's he wasn't not at the reunion. Was Yuri Bees and... No, nah, Yuri and B is two different humans, mm-hmm. although I could totally no, see where you're Yuri, coming from. No, I thought they all were on the same pod together. That's not the no, dude. That's B, not the dude that said that he bought his blick up here every day. No, nah, that's Pot Lord. Oh, Pot Lord. Oh, yeah. I don't know why B's and Pot Lord. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I always fuck okay. up names. But so B's, from my knowledge, from what I know, he basically appeared on a bunch of episodes of the Apollo with MacWap and all that. All right, that's who that is. I've honestly like he started kind of like posting about me on his Instagram story. Like when he decided to deflect from the back on fig universe, basically the fig Muni universe, he was like trying to be in that world, trying to do some podcasting and stuff from what I know. And then basically like MacWap, from what I heard got annoyed by him because he was talking too much and shit and basically like told him he didn't want to do podcasts with him anymore. And so I think he was like kind of, annoyed or like fed up with that yeah. so he starts talking about no jumper or whatever and from my perspective i'm seeing like like I, I never watched him but i was like yeah fuck it coming through let's do it let's, let's talk yeah so he came on bro i have never met anyone who talks as much as this dude oh wow yeah. it was the most like 
it was worse than your other I partner. I kept trying to ask him different questions, and then he would like go in the most random directions with it. It was really pretty mind blowing. Um, and I, I started to try to like impose parameters on him. I was like. So give me like the three minute version <laughs> of why of, of what you did with TDE. I was like, give me the three minute version. It's like a thirty minute. Because I kept trying to ask this shit, and then he's giving yeah. me like a, a twenty minute answer, and it has no yeah. nothing to do with the question yeah. I was asked. But I mean, he, he's cool. He's a nice guy. He did seem like he was a little drunk. Um, How do you feel like the podcast did overall? The people, podcast overall, I think, has about a hundred thousand views, which I personally decent. think, from a surprise podcast point of view I think it did okay especially considering it was legitimately like probably the worst podcast I've ever done or at least close to it <laughs> that's, what, that's decent numbers though how many days ago you dropped uh, it was Friday and oh, I yeah. think it has like 100k or, or close to 100k now it's it was kind of weird because back on fig decided that they wanted to do like a big like victory lap W celebration from this even though it, it, it was actually exactly the same as what happened earlier in the week. We were doing the podcast on Tuesday. Allow me to just break this down for the people who are paying attention to this. We do a podcast. We had like 9,000 people watching, right? They go live. AD and t Row went live at the same time, and they both had like 1,500, 2,000 live viewers or whatever. Yeah. So then I'm talking shit on the news or whatever saying you guys had these low view counts while we had this high or whatever. Then Friday, they do an entire no jumper show or no jumper reunion with all these people that yeah. left no jumper or whatever. How many views? They, I think, have two hundred fifty thousand now. Which this is different than live viewers, but like yeah. I think like live they had like twelve thousand and we had like three thousand or whatever. So it's like Mind literally on the day that we're, we don't do no lives or anything, it, it, right? And so it's exactly the same as what yeah. had just happened Tuesday, where like yeah. they're do, we're doing a surprise so stream they, they at the same time that they're doing me. a stream where they're like firing with every single person they could possibly get. Whereas yeah. our shit on Tuesday was just our usual shit and you yeah. ended up with like kind of the same ratio with exactly. the, the stream that was like the better stream or whatever i mean <laughs> i could have imagined our stream being really good if everybody had maybe uh came a little bit more tightened correct kind of like yeah tightened it up a little bit either way i mean i wasn't really like even aware that they thought that we were battling in terms of live viewers or whatever i mean if we called anybody in on one day and made it seem like today we going crazy yeah. it'll go nuts you know what i'm saying and, and to me like the <laughs> w that he's claiming right there that's my w like this is an, it may not be appearing on the no jumper platform but like this was our cast mm. now we've been forced to move on yeah because let's be real like the vast majority of people in that room have kind of proven that they can't really get views but if it's a they might have got some views on no jumper but they set. haven't really been able to but you take all these people who kind of can't really get views on their own and you put them all together you can get some views surviving adam series of course that was, was the surviving adam series yeah, that's yeah, a very yeah, good that's point why, yeah that's of course everybody's <laughs> tuned in you guys are telling all these sad stories and lies mixed with damn i gotta i didn't even my, watch it what were they saying i see everything from my perspective i was waiting for the reddit to clip some shit like some some stuff that would be interesting, like, but I didn't see anything. I didn't see anyone like really say anything that seemed like anything. I, did, I definitely didn't see anything new, and I didn't even really see like any like real hate from the vast majority of the people in was the room. Were they all taking shots at you though? I think that was the idea, and T. Row was like really pushing them to do that. But the reality is, is that almost nobody in that room actually has any kind of like they real said, valid issue with me. Yeah, it wasn't issues. It was just the air out. They said that I still don't no, know. they were they were scared at no jumper. Then they said that, that was that, the funniest one. They said that no I jumper was shaking. Way, way. Yeah, I was shaking. Who said that? I need to no know. No comment. Catch, catch yeah. me up. That that, that, me that up. is like yeah, I was that's I was pure self parody. Yeah. Like up, oh man. what? It's like a couple things I'm not up to game on. Cause like, but that, that, you like you're yeah, trying to be serious, and that shit is like the funniest <laughs> shit I ever seen in my life. I don't know, but I didn't really see anybody really like hating that much. I seen them like trying to hate, but it didn't really feel like it was anything. I really don't see nobody hating. And every time I hear people talk, I don't. I don't hear too much of a valid anything. They, yeah. they force the vulnerable guy into a corner. Who? Flacco? What they do to the him? other vulnerable guy? Who? Flacco's not vulnerable. Flacco, they're vulnerable. Flacco runs their podcast. I, I feel like Flacco. <laughs> I didn't see it, but I didn't see people saying that he spun them the way that he spun the Apollo. Yeah, not the spinach. He didn't yeah. come. They were they were ready for the spinach. Well, when he had the Apollo, like he went in there and like really made everybody think about like how much money is being made and how it's being split up, and it felt yeah. like he really kind of like landed a real blow to their like 
team yeah, unity and shit. Some fire. I didn't really but get too much of a vibe of that. No, but. House Bone. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know why he would even. Uh, that's why I'm like, we don't got to talk about it, but that's why I tried to just go it. Because it's old shit. It's not like anything that I don't know. That's and what I'm it's saying. like, I have like, uh, me, me and House Phone just know each other like way too well. And I've just like been around him and I can say all kinds of shit, but I'm not going to. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not yeah. going to stoop to that. Like, He's somebody, like, I'll stoop to whatever with T-Rail, but I'm not going to stoop to it with House Phone just because it's like, I, I don't understand where that comes from of like where he kind of gets the motivation to hate like that randomly, especially because I feel like I've seen so many clips where he, he had like the be. opportunity to hate and turned it down. And then you just see like a random thing, and then it's like he gets the clip deleted. And I'm like, oh, so you probably didn't want to say that in the first place, I guess, if you just had the clip maybe deleted. Money, I don't know. Maybe his money get low. You know, uh, niggas start tripping I, when I your money like get low. I feel like they he was they pumped him up. He's that's why I said he's vulnerable because he never this is nowhere else. And then like when he gets around a certain like type of people or a certain group of people. Mm. Then it's like he could be encouraged to go because any other day he mm. doesn't really have a problem. Yeah. With Somebody it. probably talking, or he's not really talking about it. Yeah. I mean, I watched okay. it. He didn't really say too much crazy shit. Like, yeah, it was partially like how people tried to frame it and stuff too. But yeah. okay, one thing. But you that say I, you never spoke on it before. And then you choose today. But okay, there was there was one thing that I thought that was super funny is that someone went on that podcast and was basically stream whatever and and was basically like calling out this thing that happened maybe a month ago where I was with my family and we were at a, um, like a trampoline park in the yeah. valley with yeah. the kids, a bunch of kids. Yeah. And so I'm in the trampoline park. I never spoke about this on here. And I see someone, and I'm not even going to say who it is because I don't want to throw them in this mix because I feel like it's kind of corny that they're even being like expected to do something yeah. to me. But I see somebody who's Locked in. under the umbrella emoji mm -hmm. and they're smiling at me. I look at them. I smile back. I go what up, I go over. I say what up. Shake their hand. They say. Uh, I think the only words that they said to me were, "You here for a kids your kid's birthday?" And I'm like, "Nah, nah, just some random shit." Yada yada. We talked for like 15 seconds, and then I left, and that was it. No big deal. Yeah. I didn't speak about it on here because it wasn't like neither of us were on any sort of like tough guy type energy, and I don't really perceive this person as being on some tough guy shit in general, right? Yeah. He's somebody that's always been cool. I never really heard him talk shit, whatever. And then I hear this person on that stream talking about that situation as if I almost got touched. Oh no! And so, I'm I'm sitting here thinking like, but maybe you was thinking no, no, cool. no, 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 no. That is not how that energy was because I'm not turning down anything. If you if, if that situation was what it was, <laughs> it got to happen. We, yeah. we could do whatever. Like I'm not, you know, I'm I'm moving but around right all he, the time. Did, he didn't mention the group chat to you when he was there. What group chat? In the 15 <laughs> seconds. He did. That was the one thing. That's probably why. You want you want to hear that? Okay, I wasn't even gonna say that. Oh, but you did. Oh, oh, all right, all right. I didn't know. He laughed. He, he got his phone. Like when when I see him, when we're shaking yeah. hands, he's la He laughs. He looks up his phone. He goes, "They said I should pack you out." Yeah. And then he laughs. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So you almost got touched. How do you? I was I was clearing that up. Maybe he was laughing about. Was he, 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 about, a joke. Yeah. he, he joking a joke. when he was saying that? Too? Totally, because he's laughing when he said it. It's not like you know. I'm saying no. And after he said it, when you seen him say it now, was he joking still when he said no, it? No, he, he didn't there. say it. Someone else brought it up oh, on the thing and was basically making like, it making it out like some mafia shit almost oh, happened yeah, to me. Yeah. I, like, I, I, he was I about to get to And I'm like, yeah, yeah, absolutely not. That's why I had to bring that yeah, up. He was I'm like, hold on, let me clear you. The homie that just seen him out like, in the open. He was about to get to But you know, yeah, you know why shit. they're talking about it like that is because they, they want the situation to be one where everybody is on go. You see the 22 star. Rah, bah, 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 boom, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's not going to happen. I, I be seeing I a lot of people. Yeah, I don't I talk about who I even see because it's just like I don't want them to be even dragged into it. I'm not trying to make them look like they ain't on time and whatever, but <laughs> I'm on time and, and I ain't you know, I'm seeing people. I'm going to tell you the whole thing, the whole this thing. This is the second week like, in a row that I came on here and talked about seeing somebody and now it was just whatever. Was the whole good. thing looked like it ain't no no time. And when, we, when I see them... Uh, me personally, I know it's no time. You son, I somebody know. at, but at nobody look like they on no time, and it seemed like just podcasting. If you ask me, mm. but I'm, niggas is acting like they on time, and is what you saying. I'm sure that you've had something like this happen, right? Where you see somebody and it's all good, yeah, time, and right. then it gets talked about afterwards, yeah, and they're like, "Man, free baby, a bitch. He didn't want no smoke." All the niggas on Instagram. That just happened. That, shit. <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> Instagram. Instagram. Say, yeah, I seen. Shit. 
Why Same. you got the security guard bringing you bloods? Yo, don't tell you him. You can't this. turn him into a roller? What the fuck? Uh, nah, Look at that roller. braid he got on. <laughs> that's my, that's, nah, nah, that's nah. my toko. He got a long braid. That's my nigga. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, my yeah, tongue yeah. partner right there. It's toko. Oh, he's a tongue. Yeah, yeah, the tongue is, they know they fuck with me heavy. They pull up too when I call him. Mm-hmm. I fuck with that. That's so at Samoans and all that. All my Samoan niggas pull up. Uh, all, every Samoan, every tongue and pull up whenever I call them. So that that's my analysis of that whole thing. Personally, I mean, it was kind of appropriate that we had like the most ridiculous fucking pot. There was one moment where they all they all left the table at the same time. Mm. And I had to be like, ah. Uh, if you guys all leave, what the fuck am I even talking to? You can't you can't all go to the bathroom at the same time. There's only two bathrooms. One of you is gonna have to pee outside. What they were trying to do in the bathroom? Did, I mean, I don't know. That's what I said. Every three three people in the bathroom. My bro says only, only one thing, thing that thing. nigga's doing <laughs> when they go to the bathroom. It's only one three thing homies go to the bathroom. To the bathroom. <laughs> Woo! Okay, but if they were that. getting <laughs> Nature Boy Ric Flair in the bathroom together, hit that. Yeah. That would they would have you would have been able to tell you would have been able to see, like if if Lush had gone in the bathroom and did some yayo, he wouldn't have came back in looking like a corpse. At what? Point? But maybe actually that maybe the coke only got him to that level. That maybe he was the at. coke made it him couldn't get have him it. all the way up. But, but maybe, maybe he would have been dead if it wasn't for the coke. What helped him? Yeah, what helped him get through? You know, listen. <laughs> Shout out Lush. I fuck was with dying. Lush. At what point in the interview was that when he was like? I feel like he Couple might have left. Later, he was hurt. He might have left two hours in. Yeah, because he, he was bad. he was hurt. I'm looking. I'm like, damn. He don't know that this shit is on to you. I mean, on YouTube, <laughs> Y'all lie, bro. Yeah, you Man, lie, But what people man. don't know to it be hot as a motherfucker behind these cameras and you yeah. trying to stay yourself while you high like that. If you high like that, Ooh, that you shit shouldn't even came to that champ. <laughs> Especially if you don't do this shit, get up out of here. Hmm. Yeah, no. He's just staring at me like that. What, bro? I was just thinking about how it is kind of hot in here, but I'm glad because otherwise I would probably put a jacket on. What are you doing? You're freezing. You got a fucking uh, that a hoodie. Nigga, that nigga I hot. Think that is that the fake hell star that the suspect That's had? Crazy. <laughs> this guy was crazy. That's crazy. This guy Who was did crazy. that? The Reddit. Who put that up? No, there's a there's a fake <laughs> hell star Buster Instagram account. Oh wow! Remember you don't remember now, we said that A lot that of people already? got fake health stars. My logo is, is no, that, that is the right one. Then we yeah. talk about that this last was year. Like lower. I mean yeah. last uh, last show. <laughs> but to be fair, <laughs> last show we was no, talking about. Did we that. talk about it? Yeah. Oh really? Some about you just brought it up. But again. suspect, he got it from a store on Melrose that like there's just like one rogue store that's selling hella fake health star. That's so that's crazy. who we got to pinpoint because I, was... I don't know if I, they, they tricked a because bunch of people. Because it's hella not accessible, like, by boys on it. But you can't just get it nowhere. So if somebody see it somewhere, like, a, they go to get it. That's the only place they can get it. They're at a crazy place as a brand because they're so popping that it's like, what do you do? You're dealing yeah. with shit like the bootlegging. If you don't make a lot of product, mm-hmm. they're just going to bootleg the fuck out of you. Yeah. You want to keep your shit cool and exclusive. Yeah. You got every offer in the world to go do the Pac Sun collabs and the the well, all that other shit. They should yeah. go to Pac Sun. Mm, if they go to Pac Sun, they're done. With. It's all right. You think so? Uh, yeah, yeah, I give it's them six expensive. months. The price, but do the prices got to go down? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah. That's the problem. You Maybe can't sell a two hundred dollar hoodie at, at Pac Sun. I don't think. Why? How much this century? I haven't been to Pac Sun in ten years, years so I really don't know. Essential still at Pac, Pac Sun. Yeah, that shit. The but, hoodies is only like what twenty five. It, get, it, it get lower, but Essential still. Yeah. It's still yeah. cool. Chill. Essentials no, is at hard. Pac Sun. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got oh, okay. some actually from there. That's where I go. But shout out to Hellstar Shawnee. He he finna get Almighty right. Yeah. Just give him some new shit. Now he 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 reached out. He gonna ship him some shit. I was thinking about. Put more of that shit in the street. I was thinking about getting some fake Hellstar on purpose because I I don't think I've ever been given fake Hellstar or or real Hellstar. But I, I I think someone gave me a Hellstar hoodie. I think Dub gave me a Hellstar hoodie back in the day, like a two year old episode of Plug Talk. I had it on. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty I, sure you passed out a box of Hellstar though. It was on medium and it was yours. <laughs> gave it to all the plugs. I was hyped. I thought that that was actually getting sent to me, and then it turns out it's for you. Was that like a big L for L star in your book? That I Fuck you that they gave I it to you and not back. me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's, 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 yeah. <laughs> How are you gonna fuck with this dude and not me? What the fuck is going on, man? What's going on? But no, we just recently discovered that the the <coughs> disconnected podcast that used to exist with a uh, Blasi and House Phone and shit, they had Shawnee from Hellstar on there 
way back in the day and Hellstar was so not a big deal yet at that point that none of us even fucking remembered and then somebody just brought it up randomly yeah. and we, we clipped part of it I was doing a Twisty P I was you watching I'm like fucking that's Hellstar Shawnee but it was the same day that Twisty P came up there and got his ass whooped yeah yeah, so, uh, tell him yeah. That. yeah I need some of that shit too, cuz. Send me some of that Hellstar voice. too, cuz. They'll go down there. They said they printing up right now. Yeah, print it up, cuz. I'm trying to get some. I'm trying to be like one of these cool ass drill rapper kids, you know? We um, gotta get Adam in the Hellstar, guys. I'm not accepting another piece till Adam gets some. And I'm someone who's like clearly owned and accepted the fact that I'm going to hell, that I'm a fucking say I'm like, hey, you know, hey, I'm hey. like anti God and shit. We got all these Christians out here rocking. Are you a Christian? Hey, I'm blue Jesus. See? You got all these Christians rocking it. Yeah, I'm really yeah. pushing Satan. I go. I, I don't, don't I like him. I, I don't nigga. agree with you. You don't agree with me. No, nah, this is another moment where I disagree <laughs> with you. <laughs> I go <laughs> Asalaamu Alaikum, though. You, you see me Taliban up, nigga. That's how no, you know I really you're old, I, I really don't belong to, like, yeah, I do. I'm going to just say I'm a Christian. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm bro, say, stay that. in your yeah, lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> average, study, average day, how no, much do you think about God? I study a lot. I pray, <laughs> like, two to three times a day. Really? Yeah. I got the Muslim pr <laughs> prayer rugs in my in my office now. <laughs> yeah, they left them. Wow. They left them, the fucking Afghan gang member dudes. They fucking yeah. left their, their Muslim prayer rugs. So if, if anybody want to get it in. But in jail, no, I, studied, I studied other books, too, just to see what was in there. So I don't know. You find anything you liked? Kind of. Like what? I don't want to talk about The multiple wives? No. I, I do like No, that. you can do I that. I do like that. You could, you, I mean, well. What? You don't got you don't gotta be a certain religion to have multiple. That's wives. what I was. Just you just gotta to have say. a lot of money. DW, I know we're not doing uh, your personal life for content, so I'm gonna tread lightly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You I already gonna, know where you're going with. Nah, nah, yeah. you ain't gotta tread lightly. Get on there. Go ahead. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? There was some baby mama drama with you. <laughs> no jumper. <laughs> it turn, you go. it turns out. Up the <laughs> it turns out that no jumper will not only be the cause of you getting into it with fellow uh, members. It turns out that also it will land you in hot water with the missus. Let's talk about it. What happened? And why are you being connected to Zan Princess, possibly the most desired woman in this office? Check this out. Cause, Allegedly, because because no jumper chops shit up the way they want to chop. We it didn't up. make content out of this. Because right until at, now, hold on, right, <laughs> hold on, look, look, look. mind you, mind you. Let's get this clear first. That, me and my girl, that. me and my girl, hit girls, or uh, whenever the fuck I ask for it or feel like it. So let's get that straight. But y'all also clipped off that I told Zan Princess. She said, "You got a girlfriend?" I said, "Yeah," and I stand on business. That's it. If she would have seen just those two pieces, this shit would put a heart on that shit. Mm. But it looked like oh, I was just. But I'm a, I'm a stepper. You but your, your my girl, baby mama know that too. She left a Crip. comment, seeming quite unhappy with Zan Princess, right? Yeah. Or what? How, she, how'd it go? She's still gonna be cool with her when she, she saw it. something that she didn't like. No, she was just already mad about some other shit. Yeah, I always make her mad. We good though. And yeah, so I to him. is Zan Princess. Nah, down <laughs> listen, I run. My, hold on, let's get this shit. I run my shit. You get my baby mama tell y'all on here. I run my shit. She run her mouth, and that's it. But I love her. That's my. That's my BM right there. Is Zan Princess down to be a unicorn? That's the question. Do you know uh, about the unicorn? If she down, if she down, then I went saying we will do what it do. Really? Yeah. Maybe I should call Let, it. Yeah, both of them can link up. Once they both link up, the smoothie. I like that. Hey, <laughs> I, hey, me and my girl hit girls together, but I don't say it like that. Like when I want to. Yeah, that's because uh, that's <laughs> look, look, we just different people. That's, I'm just saying, but that's because y'all trying to fake put it on Front Street. Like mm. I was y'all behind the scenes. I'm not in no water. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's why I gotta talk to you about it like that I when I even, want to. Yeah, did she say that in the clip or was it like a uh a, a no no no? It was a comment. Yeah, it wasn't nothing, man. Yeah, she wrote a comment. Say, yeah, that's what I'm about to say. See, you're, 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 was, you're not making content out of it. It's, we still cool. You, you just chilling. I respect it. Yeah. Oh, my. But sister, this was an opportunity. You could have. You could have been real messy right here. You could have got uh, real Zeus network. Nah, that'd be weird because That's we cool. just came from Vegas right now, having a good time. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was a birthday. 
Oh shit! So I just took her to Vegas. What are you doing, Vegas? We almost went to one of them clubs like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit! <laughs> we almost went to one of them clubs. I was saying we just got. They just gave us an invite. What they were giving you the cards on the strip? Nah, we already got we already got dealings from New Orleans. Sitting there. <laughs> In New Orleans, they got a club that do the same thing, and they got a couple around the world. But so. you gotta be careful you know going saying? to the, the sex clubs in Vegas. Because hey, hey, I went hey, to hey, one I and I around. saw dudes getting fucked in the ass. Yo. On God. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I'm sure you did. I just seen you walking with a dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Why why, okay. That's crazy. Yeah, why, why does everyone think I can't just have a homie? Bro, yeah, I see the dog give it away that you really was on. But that's my actual shit, dog, just cause it's a sort of gay dog. But it was a du- yeah, dude. I had the Nancy. same cup of coffee. That's from great. the same Y'all place. was sharing the same cup I of ordered coffee. Ordered him one. It was the same. Yeah. You ordered y'all went. You ordered cup one. I ordered yeah, the homie a coffee. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I got gay friends. I Look, some but, of them do porn. They should, some they of them but, get but, fucked in the ass. Yo, no, but, that's not straight. Come on, bro. You're admiring that? That's, what that's just the homie. Yeah. Look, bro. That's yeah. your private life, though, but you putting it in the public now. No, bro. some uh, random fucking person filmed me. Uh, walking yeah. my dog. You walking with her. Did Lena know that y'all went for coffee? Lena don't care about what I do in my personal life. Did she know that you went for coffee? I ordered her one too. She was back at the crib. But did she know it came with an extra tall latte? We're just saying if that's you, just be you, bro. That's all we saying. Listen, if I want to do it, I'm going to do it. But I'm just chilling. We see it. We see that. We see you doing it out here. So you're you're joining Wax Team. You think that I'm I'm, I'm gay? I'm thinking that you're just Zesty. Just Adam? Just Adam. What does that mean? Because you got you know your how own they try lane. To, yeah, you got your own lane. You got your own but that's you, you though. You, know, <laughs> you got your own people, lane, bro. People are like, you know, that's you. Because like, like, you, like, you know like the zestiest Where? straight... You straight zesty. <laughs> you straight up with it. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. I am straight, for the record. Straight zesty, and though. Just because I'm kicking you, it with a gay man. Do you identify as zesty? I identify as a married heck, heterosexual man. Z- Zest disciple. That's your clan. That's like Clearly. it's like kill squad. Clearly. I know. It's like an imaginary squad. That's what I'm saying. Mine's just like, gay. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> just, just <laughs> yeah. Great. All right, you gotta talk about something. I gotta take a piss. <laughs> That's one bathroom. Hit him, with, hit him with a topic that I wouldn't want to talk about, Remo. Hey, listen. Oh yeah, what's up, Remo? What you got before I jump out the window? No, nah, what you got? We, we, uh-huh. <laughs> you should jump out the window. Let's oh jump. yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. So I'm jumping out the window. I'm seeing everything. I don't know. Hold on, Diddy. Let me, uh, am I talking about? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Diddy. Uh, come uh, up. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, let her come back, Diddy. Yeah, which y'all, which y'all be thinking about? Which y'all think about all the Diddy shit that's going Diddy on? Diddy shit is overwhelming and it's and it's going everywhere, bro. It's everywhere, bro. My nigga looking like a movie right now. It's looking like a series. Like he's on his way to. I can already see this end, but I hope for this end for cause like you know cause I don't know none of the shit Diddy that's going get arrested on. He did he still? Did he? Get no, arrested? he didn't get arrested. No. He a bigger. Yeah, he in another he country, but they just nobody. spotted him in Miami. I don't think After, he made it. No, nah, he didn't country. go. The plane went, and then they say my young Miami best friend got off the plane. Diddy wasn't on that bitch, and then several. Yeah, yeah. so he the and then he got too, caught. Huh? Then he got caught at the Miami. Uh, Fucking small airport pacing around yeah, and pacing. shit, and that's so cuz yeah. like, oh, I can't really leave. That's gonna the make clip. me feel guilty. But let me send that motherfucker. Nah, what he did, the one that went his jet that left from L.A., he couldn't have been in it because mm-hmm. he was at Miami. So yeah, he right. put he probably put two three jets in the air yesterday. Yeah. He's somewhere cooler. Yeah, they had the kids in here, cuz. Oh yeah, the kids had come. Yeah, yeah. Cut things. How you, you feel about them kids being at the house at 30 years old on the, the ki- Monday? The kids, I'm mean, what you mean? They, well, if your dad they rich as a near, motherfucker. Like, we at the house. Oh, <laughs> but the what thing I is, gotta tell you is, nigga, go ahead. Damn, the thing is, damn though. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked up. What what y'all think cuz should do right now? My thing is you wouldn't have been in them handcuffs, you would have had your own car though. I'm not just staying there. They got their own shit. Out. They That's probably got said, a couple of shit. Shit. Doing, but they have all this shit right hell now. No, nah, nigga, you niggas Look, look, but do you think the kids are surprised? Nah, they nah, know nah, some nah, shit. Nah, 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 hell nah. They hell probably nah. know some shit. They pissed off though. 
They like, damn, though. Imagine, though, because one of them act like they daddy all day. Yeah. yeah <laughs> now, are you acting like him? Yeah. Fuck. It's like yo yo hero crush. But see, he they the kids probably ain't never they knew though. That side uh, well, excuse of me, him, I don't know what they, they know. And they had to, bro. But because fuck. This is the thing, the shit that's going on with Cassie, if you living with him like the abuse and shit, it don't stop. And you get what I'm trying to talk about? If you, you see it. Mace, Mace, like, you, nigga, that's what you get, nigga. That's what Mace was saying, really? Mace is, yes. I mean, you could watch Mace right now. Mace, I've like, seen the clip. I didn't know he was Mace, saying that. He been saying shit like that. Then he rap about it now, and then the nigga just like, it's your turn. I told you this time was going to come. Because all right, yeah. his kids, think about it. Like, they've probably seen a hundred times what we've seen what? in the media. Yeah. Even if they're like largely <laughs> hidden away from it because he's probably doing his freak Nick shit in private. Yeah. It's probably fucking crazy. They but I'm just saying, how you gonna raise your how you gonna raise your sons? You gonna raise your sons like how you wanna raise them, right? I'm gonna raise my kids like to try to be, you know, good Better. people. But if I'm having these crazy freak offs and they grown ass men, at some point they're gonna fucking figure they it gonna, out, right? And they if gonna, you are my boss. And you th- and you doing your thing, but keeping your kids in the nicest school. One of your kids gonna be like, nigga, I'm like that. That's so one of his kids freaky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah. saying. It's in so bad. It's in the yeah, because you made it sound dope, but it's he about did, he a has freak an icon nigga. As a, f- as a mobile, is his talent or his hunger for doing whatever the fuck he did is untouchable. Is he bipolar? But the, the real life him right now they are saying is cut crazy. He doing. He might be bipolar though. He might like, be bisexual. What? what are no, he's for sure bro, bisexual. He's, <laughs> he's for sure. 100%. Why do we think that though? Like, why do people actually think that? He's gay. Like, why is no Diddy a thing no. when we're not really seeing any evidence of him being like bisexual, right? Like, to How? me, that, like, we haven't Little heard about Rod, anything about him fucking men, that. right? Rod just said he got abused and all type of shit. But not like Diddy putting his <laughs> dick in his ass, right? I mean, Orlando Brown said he smacked. Yeah, but he says that about everybody. He's talking about is how Jay Z got good he crazy? pussy. And then you got the Meek Mill. He said that he said that Jay Z got good pussy about a billion times in the interview I did with him the other day. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. He kept talking about how how all these different dudes and how they got a good pussy and their pussy tastes like this and their pussy tastes like that. It's fucking insane. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Orlando be wilding. Orlando is crazy. Coming out soon. Let me read uh, some some donations real quick. Taz sent five dollars. Said Remo ain't even speak yet and he's annoying me. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Leave my man alone. Smoke Dog sent five dollars. Says Smoke Dog only eating the booty if it's bleach. Shout out to from Oceanside when Beetlejuice is gonna be on here. Anyway, for art thou Pookie be spun. I don't know. I would definitely I have Beetlejuice fuck. on here. Uh, do you think Flacco has a crush on Gina? Probably not. I don't know anything about Flacco that. Flacco got a crush on his coworker. Yeah. Uh, Willie G said Remo check out the God Body Capo uh, song. Shout out to God Body Capo. Okay. Cash Cardi sent $10. Said, no jumper. What's good? Mad love out of New York City. I need y'all to show some love and to upcoming artists out of Alabama. Jay Montana. Bro is dope and needs more shine. All right. Shout out to him. New York in Alabama. The Real Boski said, I ain't feeling DW's energy on the homies. Keep your head on a swivel brick on mamas. (laughs) That's crazy. What the fuck does that mean? Remo's sitting there with a wire <laughs> under his hoodie. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> yeah. Attack the Remo in the chat. Uh, <laughs> Big 22, do you like do like Joe Budden? Stop beefing down and providing free promo. Please mentor podcasters. Flacco, pick a side. Prop to, props to gang. Hashtag kill squad. Okay. Kill squad. Uh, shout out to Ron Blackmon. He's, he's showing love. Uh, Ron Blackmon. DW got on No Jumper and Not That Sugar Hill, Sugar Hill Kill Squad. They think that I uh, made you wear that shirt instead of the usual Sugar Hill. I got Sugar Hill on once hoodie, I throw my right? sweater on. And that's what yeah. those pants are as well because I got those yeah. in the mail the other Talk day. Talk your shit. Talk yeah. your we shit. got all the same clothes. Shout out Sugar Hill. Yeah. If we ever come in here wearing the same fit, it's going to be we might crazy. Not. We might not. We might. We, we have a lot of the same fits. Yeah, yeah, but I got way more. We're going to look deadly together. Me, Mill, and Diddy? No, Diddy. Twins. I'm Diddy. Yeah, no, You're Diddy. Me, Mill. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> so you Wait, call what? him Daddy? So you the one that calls people shit. Daddy. However he wants it. No, Diddy. Yo. Um, Yo, he just made a pass at you, bro. No, he, he said didn't. However I didn't he even hear what it ain't. All right. You talk. Oh, All right, cool. Inky Owl <laughs> Tats. We said his name wrong before, apparently. Um, okay, we, we have to talk about this. Fix it in the chat. At some point. We have to talk about this at some point. 
How did you guys feel when you saw the clip that has now gone mega viral of Yuri being oh. upset about his girlfriend making a YouTube video 10 years ago when she was like 16 gay, in high school? Gay, I'm gay. How did you feel about it? Did you relate to how he felt or did you? Because like, nah. I feel like on No Jumper, we've heard because Suspect, I believe, said that he agrees with Yuri, which is interesting because I haven't really seen anybody say that they agreed with Yuri's side of it. So are you saying that you kind of see a side? I can, I, can, say that. I can see he every did, side, but I don't agree with that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He so, did. Yeah. Did. It was, uh, that shit old, good. 10 years? 10 years ago? That shit old. She knew what she was doing, but it's old. What did she do? She had a fucking pod with somebody in high school. Did she? Not even like a pod. They were sitting there on like the couch fucking, talking. Yeah, talking. It's a YouTube like, video. Like, but it ain't, she didn't do nothing. You That's know what, what I'm saying. It's not part. like she getting hit. But, but yeah. you know better, bitch. That's what, how he feel. That's like, how he coming with That's how he feel. But be real, okay? <laughs> you know, to be real, if that's really your bitch and y'all good right now, you leave right. shit like that alone. His his issue was that they do a podcast together. They've been doing it together for a few years. And he felt like when they started doing the podcast together, she acted like this was her was first time. Like she had never done uh -huh, anything on right, camera before. Right. That's and exactly so big. To. He felt a way about that. From my perspective, it's like. Bro, how many random things did right. I do in high school that I did like once or twice and I forgot? And like, what? I would like that making a YouTube video that gets like 10 views, like, right, it's, it's like right. nothing. I know whoever accounts on is going viral that video, probably. Oh, he's high. We we nah, there's no way he's monetized, the poor <laughs> bastard. It's probably the Gay Kids <laughs> channel. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, I That's mean, great. Nah, for, for sure, like, I would understand being a little grumpy about it if the the girl was, like, yeah. talking about some hoe shit mm. or, like, doing something that you were nah, like, he like, I don't even been doing this. He didn't even really, like, watch the video enough to, like, find anything that he was mad about. Right. He just got mad right out the gate. Yeah. Niggas get mad like, at nothing. I know about that. I was really trying to wrap my head around like what I would do if I found the equivalent of that of Lena. And I think that my response would have been more like, oh my God, like just this is so cute. You're so goofy. Yeah, this is like, funny. Like yeah. what the fuck? You're such a nerd. Yeah. I don't think I, my brain would have even gone to like being mad. That's you. Like, though. Bitch, you didn't yeah, tell me about this. That's you though. Yeah, yeah. But I'm the king of open minded. That's you. A lot I, of I feel lot like of dudes it was tender do that for sure. Yeah. Being He's mad about that tender. is definitely Chill tender dickish. He just found the yeah. reason. He mm. found the reason for sure. So, but okay. It's normal. There's been a lot of times over the years where I've seen clips go viral of Yuri, like in the No Jumper Reddit, where people are talking about it within this like relatively small community, and it'll be like some shit where they get in a fight and everybody in the office is talking about it. Everybody's yeah. like sharing the clip around, whatever. Yeah. But we don't even talk about it on here because it feels kind of weird to like make content about a dude who worked here like you know a year yeah, or two yeah, ago yeah, or whatever yeah. it feels kind of weird so we we're like it would be more something that like somebody in the office would send me the clip and i'd be like laughing at it or whatever yeah, it's a group chat so thing. that's why it's fucking insane to see you probably don't know it is this dude moist critical he's like one of the biggest youtubers yeah he made a video about that clip and is it has like 1.5 yes yeah, yeah which yeah. is like that's one of the biggest looks that you can get for your content is to have him make a video Yuri. about you and I know for a fact or somebody said that Yuri's like a big fan of him yeah so that's got to extra fuck him up and I can't even imagine like behind the scenes imagine how much shit she's getting from like her friends people she knows because you know these fucking internet trolls are ruthless they're probably oh, yeah. sending it to no everybody <laughs> no cap. it's probably like everybody from they high school sure is probably it. talking about it but do you they like, making it, they making it seem like you were a hoe now yo i can't even imagine the, the, like the amount of pressure what's going on the though. amount of pressure that she's probably getting from other people because of it is probably is nuts bro and if she really a cool bitch she like you know from my experience she's very cool and that's why so i feel like get was, fed up with that quick no too. she could get hit too no, I was just I was saying if I was single. No, no, oh, okay. Now I know what you mean. Okay, that's yeah. interesting. I feel um, like you're yeah. getting more backlash than she is, though. Like, She's not getting any backlash. Yeah, exactly. She's so, like, almost a hundred percent. People might be fucking herself. with it. People, yeah. people want to fuck with it because for sure. All right, think about she got no fan. Think about when you get into a fight with your girl, and like you feel like you're right, she feels like she's right. 
and maybe you don't talk for a couple of hours or you have a big drawn out argument and then at some point you kind of come to middle ground but it's usually not like you, you don't have like an independent person like judging who is right or wrong in the right. argument you just kind of like Come time back. goes yeah. by you end up right. sort of patching it up you still feel like you're right she feels like she's right but you don't really get to the bottom of it right this shit is like they have the whole internet casting judgment on it it's got to be fucked up for them it to be with dealing with it, you know? even when you like it don't fuck with me yeah. sometimes it fuck with Chase. Yeah. and i mean the, the craziest shit about it from my perspective too is just that like the clip of her that he's watching she seems so like happy and like bright and full of life, like and then they and school, then the clip yeah. of them arguing about it is so it's like such a bummer that you just feel so bad of like I can imagine how random people feel about it like yeah. that shit just is it's like they wild, probably like bro. why are you still with him he embarrassed you on live <laughs> yo that shit's like nuts. they but what we said earlier they gonna stick it out I don't think that this gonna cause drama within their relationship for real nah. they, they said this was this was like real. when it went viral it was already a few days old I'm pretty sure. Uh, so like they had probably already moved past they already it, argued it yeah. but then I feel like this is probably gonna like re reopen the wounds probably right like three four yeah times. yeah yeah the world wasn't involved at first nah yeah but I'm not gonna lie like I did I saw a little clip of, of Yuri like describing why he quit no jumper and yeah. like it was such bullshit that I was kind of like. A little bit annoyed by him, so when this clip started going viral, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was you not, almost. I was not totally mad about it because you guys weren't around back then. But like the real reason why he stopped being here was because he kept fucking up the titles. Like yeah, 100, percent one reason, only one reason. He was working there. I would send an email with all the titles. I do a Brick Baby interview. Boom. Here's the here's the full Brick Baby title, and here's ten titles. And I want those titles exactly the way I wrote it. On the YouTube, why don't because you copy and paste at this point? I, I realistically <laughs> feel like I have better grammar skills than most, most people. I've been writing titles for fucking forever. I know exactly how I want them to look. And if if there's gonna be an error, which there is sometimes, like fucking, I, I post there was a clip that went up the other day and it was Violent J, but it was supposed to be Shaggy Two Dope. I fucked it up. I want those mistakes to be on me. So that I can't blame anybody because to me the titles being right is like the most important fucking thing in the world, you know. So like, that was it. He fucked up like three, four, five times in a row. Eventually, I was like, we can't do this anymore. And then like I saw this clip of him talking about why he doesn't work in no jumper anymore, and he's talking about how he wasn't getting paid enough. And it's like, you might have felt that way, but you didn't quit. Like you got fired. Like this was For like sure. it was very simple. For sure. So it's so weird. Like so, like there's a couple other things I've seen in the like of people talking about why they were no longer here, and I'm just like, what? Like you're just making shit up. Like you just. Have been just cooking up like new narratives for the past couple of years instead of like saying what really happened. Like that's crazy. Yeah, he tried to go in on Josh uh, today. On Josh too. You seen that? You seen that? That's crazy. What Josh, say? Josh got it back on him today. He didn't want. To I didn't hear what Josh said to him, but like, okay, the thing with Josh, like, and, and this reminds me of another clip I saw like a couple of weeks ago where people were talking shit about me saying like Josh does so much of the hard work. It's like, yeah, motherfucker, I hired him. Like that, yeah. you're you're uh, you're uh, telling uh, me uh, that I'm running a good business. If you say, oh, Remo's getting so many of the guests, or Remo's helping on so many of the interviews, yeah, thank you. I fucking found somebody uh, really good and I hired them. Like yeah. Josh, in the, in, no jumper before Josh was a fucking shit show. Like from a organized. business perspective, from a content perspective, from like a us doing an interview and then getting it out perspective. Like I hired Josh. Literally because we did an escape room together. You ever do an escape room? Mm -hmm. It's like a, they lock you in a fucking room. Yeah, I got to figure it out. And you have to solve all these puzzles right. to get out of the room. Yeah. I myself have very, very bad problem solving skills. Mm -hmm. Like when you're in Zelda and you're trying to get out of the dungeon. All right. I quit. I, I, I quit. The I got to look it up. I don't know. I look it up. I have no fun. It's impossible. I yeah, can't do it. I quit. Yeah. Josh was killing this fucking escape room. And I like he's like my sister's fucking husband at this point. Yeah. But I had never really like thought about like how his brain worked that much. Pause. That's not that's not like a little Wayne yeah, punchline. Yeah, no but uh, no he, he basically like I, I was so impressed with the escape room that I ended up basically offering him the job. And my more or less what I told him when he came out here was like, please like just help me get this fucking business together. Yeah. So if you compliment Josh, that, that's a compliment to me because I fucking somehow found somebody Josh that was, his flowers. Josh it. definitely deserves his flowers. For sure. And to say that Josh 
is well, I don't know. Like, I mean, was Josh talking shit about people behind their backs? I have no fucking clue. I'm sure he's got opinions about people, and maybe he was sharing with Yuri. I don't know why that's like a dunk to be like, oh, you privately expressed opinions about people, and now I'm gonna just expose. This. Not like he exposed it, but he said that he has that knowledge. It's like, yeah, you guys were like super close working together for all those years. Of course, he told you what he thought of people. Yeah, I'm not like challenging him to reveal those things, yeah. but like that's not surprising to me. Yeah, and it's like. Man, that's life. You talk about people talk like hmm. people talk about Josh behind his back. So right. the same person that you gonna say like, oh yeah, if they were, if the vibe was, you ain't fucking with it right now, and you can tell this in there. Of course, they both talked about each uh -huh. other behind. You got back. friends who when talk about each other behind their back a little bit, whatever to their peoples or to whoever the fuck. And they still don't go out and just say, this motherfucker be saying this, because they still be with that motherfucker. Because saying yeah. that somebody was talking behind your back is like the dumbest. It got to be something for real. Yo, because I remember when when that shit originally happened with AD, not to bring this shit up, but like when that shit happened with AD where basically like he was saying, oh, you were talking behind my back, that whole narrative that he kind of issued when he left No Jumper. Yeah. I remember talking to academics about it, and academics was laughing at it and saying, that's some Zeus shit. <laughs> Which is true. Like, that's like reality show shit that, mm -hmm. like, women argue about on reality shows. Right. It's like, you were talking, Bitch, behind, my talking behind my back. Bro, let's think about the real world. It sucks that he just walked away, but, like, you and Brick, all this little drama and shit that you guys been having, of course you're having fucking conversations about each other with other people. People are calling you and saying, blah, 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 and you got to tell them, like, me and Brick are cool, yada, yada. That's technically a conversation behind his back, but it's not like, it, it's only a conversation behind someone's back. I if can it's, say if whatever, it's, if whatever you say the fuck I want when but, I say it. But if you say something that's you know, totally different than the, the energy that you hit him with when you guys are talking face to face, right, then right, you're fucked up. Right, right. But if you go tell somebody something behind their back that you also are communicating to them to their face, mm. that is not talking behind their right, back. Right, Like my friends, if I say anything about them, I say it to their face too. Right. They know I feel like this. If I feel like one of the homies ain't coming to work or do whatever, I'm like, cause a lazy bitch. You feel yeah. me? That's something I tell him to his face though. You know? But besides that, yeah, anything else, you know, really have, feeling like that behind somebody but seeing them and saying, hey, it's different. That's just how the world works. Yeah. So yeah. A lot, of, a lot of weird narratives going around out there. Um, okay, what else should we talk about while we're waiting on uh, the brick man? What yeah. you thought about the uh, Kendrick Lamar and Drake? Oh, uh, grown up. I don't want to get fully into it until Brick Baby's back in here because that's such a fucking wide ranging, good topic. Let me read these real quick. I though. like that rap back and forth. Okay, Inky Owl Tats, shout out to him again. Did you see that Quilly trademark No Diddy? Y'all need to tra trademark. <laughs> uh, he missed his own pod from a torn ACL. God Donut, you're not going to bait me into hating on the homie, but uh, that is pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, Camp Time by Ron Blackman. Okay, I'm going to listen to it ASAP. And then Grooveville. Grooville said, shout out to the cast. Y'all tap in and fuck with my last drop, yeah. Mr. Groovy yeah. X Jimmy. Tap in with my drop. Brick, we were just talking behind your back, bro. Nah, no. Nah. I was talking crazy about you. I was on some comparator shit, shit, bro. I was out there. I can hear everything. You can, oh, you, you heard it? Why? Uh, yeah. you, you were taking a piss? Kind of. Or I was eating some. You were eating some piss? No. Nah. Oh. That's crazy. Nah. I was eating some. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie. I was hungry, so I took a couple bites of my pastrami sandwich. Oh, that's what that was out here. there? I'm yeah. hungry as fuck. Like, I, was, I was trying to figure out. I might stop by. I don't want to tell everybody. You know what? I'm going to stop by. You know what is a weird habit that I've been getting into? I go to the 7-Eleven and I get those Lenny's. What's it called? Lenny's cookies? Oh, I you thought know, it's like say a, it's like a protein or cookie or some oh, shit. Oh, yeah, the ones in the white bag? Or no, Wait, the little white? I'm going to pull them up. What is it? Lenny and Larry? Oh yeah, yes. Lenny and Larry. Lenny and Larry. It sounds like a you gay see. cookie. Yeah, but like you ever oh, see no, these no. things? Those cookies is good. Bro, Everybody I, get those from uh, 7-Eleven. I'm in this weird loop where I'll like get this flavor, then I'll get this flavor. Next day I'll get this, and I just I'm like literally I've had all of these in the past couple weeks. I'm done being fake healthy Bye. though. These things, I don't know what it is. You fake healthy. I think fake healthy probably is a good way to describe where I'm at in my life because yeah. it's like I eat healthy all day and then like at 7 p.m. 
or like 8 p.m. or some shit, I will always manage to just sabotage my diet for the day and just right. eat some shit that I shouldn't eat. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's limiting yourself. So at least you're not eating unhealthy shit all day. Yeah. You eat one. You know, feel me? It could be worse, but. I don't like nothing but healthy food. So I'm. Like you eat. I don't want nothing healthy. That's why I'm right skinny now, like that. You got a pastrami eat. sandwich out there. How the fuck are you a pescatarian? I can cheat. Cause I'm so skinny, I have to cheat. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, but you no, say no, I'm no, a pescatarian. No, 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 that no, no, means that you full. have some kind of like psychological no, 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 no. commitment to only eating fish. No, yeah, I eat fish, right? I only eat fish, but two days out of the week, I have to eat beef. Why? Because I'm trying to gain weight. Pastrami counts as beef. It that's the beef. pork. That's that's no, a pig. No, it's not. Isn't it? Uh, uh-uh, it's beef. Pastrami, pastrami is not from the strong, fucking pastrami pork. count as the worst shit you no, can get right now. That's beef. <laughs> That's for sure. It's pastrami. It's bacon, yeah. What kind of meat? Type shit. Oh, wait, it is made of beef. Yeah. Oh, How the fuck oh, did I not know that? I pay unhealthy. attention to what I eat. I feel like I've been eating this shit all these I years eat. and I thought it was a pig. I but thought it was a pig. Yeah, 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 yeah. You did too? Yeah, yeah. 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 Nah, that that's beef. One for brick. <laughs> Yo, that's actually. Insane. But that's still, it's still equivalent. It is, it's fatty. But at the end of it, pause. It tastes like no Diddy. No Diddy. Yeah. <laughs> bro, Diddy's Diddy gay. ain't gay. Why do we? Th- why are we acting like Diddy's gay, bro? But he ain't call it a fatty, though. Damn, you think? How you he, think R. Kelly feel right now? Vindicated. Bro, it feels like damn. It wasn't. It wasn't just me. See, he knew it wasn't just him. I ain't talking about break you. He don't feel like that. Thanks for trying to make me feel good, guys. I'm not gonna lie though. I feel like the stuff that R. Kelly was accused of was just weirder and grosser. There's a lot of stuff about drinking pee. There's a lot of shit about like poop. There's a lot of like real young girls. The Diddy stuff, it might be like just as criminal. I mean, they are raiding his fucking mansions, but it's not as like disgusting, right? So was that Diddy in the sex tapes now? Remember we said That's it wasn't fucking him. Next. What's so sex now, tapes? When he pissed on the young girl way back in the day, the first piss. You're talking about R. Kelly? R. Kelly? R. Kelly, that's what I meant to say. Oh, all right. Was that him? You said R. Kelly. You were talking about R. Kelly, right? Yeah. Both. Well, yeah, I was talking about, I was comparing R. Kelly. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I meant to say R. Kelly. So is he in the same? Did did you see that tape back in the day? Yeah. I remember seeing it too. And I remember not even thinking it was like a big deal that I was seeing it. Now now it sounds like a federal crime. To even load that up on your computer is like the craziest shit ever. But I remember seeing it in like 2004 and not even. That's during the Lamar days. It's not funny, but that shit wasn't that bad back then. It, it just, you weren't thinking about the fact of like, oh, what I look at online could be. Yeah. That shit added People up could access them. this That's one. That's what day. it is. Yeah, but also, be. like, I feel like I saw it when we didn't know that it was an underage girl. Like, it was just like, oh, look at R. Kelly peeing on somebody. I feel yeah. like the story hadn't developed enough at that time. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Mm. I, I was underage. Damn, know, his, he can't even sleep right now. Yeah, R. Kelly? Yeah, right, bro. He don't no, no, R. Kelly. He's he sleeping. Oh, he's he? programming R. Yeah, he's sleeping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. R. Kelly's used yeah. to this. Yeah. R. Kelly's had like 10 years to get used to this shit. Yeah. Nah, Diddy, R. this R. is all new. You were a superstar a couple months ago, and now it's just nonstop. Every day you're getting hit with a bombshell. You know why he looks crazy? It's because he gave all that money to Cassie to, to keep her mouth shut. That, th- that did work. not work. <laughs> that he did not work at all. Gave her less. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, like, what? I wonder if that if he's actually like contractually bound to give her that money because, bro, think about his fucking legal expenses. That was about everything, to say, bro. Like, damn. he's gonna be like, he might have an insane amount of money. That should get real short, real fast. He gonna spend like a, up towards like a hundred sub million. What? Maybe a little more than that. Especially if he had to give her sixty million or whatever the he fuck. Lost, it was. He sold Revolt this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He 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 got rid of all his shares, yeah. so now he don't own any part of that. I would too. Damn. It's time to liquidate. Yo, shit get rough. It, it, as soon as it gets to being a criminal thing like this, as soon as you have visual aids like your house getting raided and shit, bro, like this is just a whole nother level. They said it was because of that that new lawsuit. So they weren't pursuing this like this when it was just the Cassie accusations, but it's it's on this it's level because ride. of this new dude, yeah. But they came through and raided, but did they come through to get him? Uh, I think that was That's the thing. They said they came to see cell phones and computers. But, okay, they obviously know what's going on. If he wasn't there, they knew he wasn't there, right? Yeah. So they had to. I they probably would... chose to go there at a time that he wasn't there, right? That's what I'm feeling like. I feel like they was going to arrest him. He'd be in jail right now. 
Right, right. Yeah, right. I'm like, you like, can't nigga, get away with you. They, they know you're in you Miami, walk, pacing yeah. and shit. They would have, yeah. right. he would have got arrested already. I think they just came to just get some more information and shit, just trying to build their case. Because what they allegedly are really looking for is like, the shit to go with his video tapes or what? The videotapes. Because there's all this like rumors of like, oh, that he recorded. He might have videotapes of not only himself doing shit that could potentially be illegal and but confirm yeah. all the shit, but also like, of other powerful people. Yeah. So if he has anything illegal on those tapes, that could be very bad. Would you watch the Stevie Ouch. J tape? What is the Stevie J tape? Yeah. I'm saying, they say they got a Stevie J tape. I don't know. Diddy and Stevie J. Yeah. Fucking. Yeah. Would I watch that? Yeah. Ugh, that sounds so gross. I've always you been kind of, did, did, I've always been kind of no. weirded out by weirded out by Diddy. Like he always just kind of looked sort of creepy to me. Like with that fucking mohawk and shit, bro. The mohawk was crazy. I never. I looked at the mohawk today. Like, oh, the mohawk was when he was at his. Man, I don't even remember mohawk Diddy. You don't remember mohawk Diddy? I got a go with party and crazy Ooh, right there. Mohawk. If you had a mohawk, you was going yeah, crazy. Yeah, that's what I said. He was the freakiest at bro, all. You time. Look at that. Yeah, tell me this is normal. The Mohawk. Look at that, cuz. It's he, with the white. And he was feeling the power with the money. Oh, that yeah, one this one white, is creepy. That's the creepiest one. <laughs> that's right crazy. There. That's the cuz. Look at that. He was having Cassie Ooh. doing anything. <laughs> he made he business. Bro, yeah, come on, fam. <laughs> ah. uh, funniest shit is the uh, the neighbor, the fake oh neighbor. Oh, my God. Who oh, is yeah, that guy? We got to find him in L.A. No, nah, we found out. Uh, Sus knew who he was. He looked he like, like That looked like the hubby. Ooh, he like a, a rapper. That's like a crazy. up-and-coming rapper out of the IE. So do you think he is telling the truth? Or you think no. he was just trying to cook up the most viral thing he could funny. say at that moment? Because that shit's hilarious. That shit's hilarious. But listen, like, the, the accusation of, like, I seen a lot of kids going in and out of there at night. Doesn't that sound like that's crazy? Okay, mm. if there was any he truth said to that, young shit, not kids. It, right, he was but if he was, if there was truth to that, Diddy would be fucking hiding that. Mm. Diddy would not have the neighbors having he access to it, right? Like that sounds. He can't but be that listen, dumb, right? Listen, when you, you do get money law, like that and you live above the law, you do get comfortable. He live above for the law, sure. You got even niggas it. who don't even make it that big get comfortable. The police come right there and say they see some young girls walking in there. My kids are here. What are you talking about? They yeah. going to go, oh, my bad, Mr. Cobbs. Yeah, once they see who it is. Uh, funny shit, you say even my basketball go over there, I just let it be. Yeah, he said, <laughs> I don't even with my basketball. He said, I just let Mind it be. You, the houses are never that close for the basketball That's to go over there. Shit. That's he what you knew it was bullshit. Nah, he is, that, is that dude, does he have any motion? Is he like uh, doing it, his thing or no? I think he had like 10,000 IG followers or some shit. Some shit. He, he, I mean, he, he, like, he posted today. He, he was said, funny. Yeah, he said, he was funny, sorry, yeah. Diddy, I play too much and shit. So, oh, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. Damn. So he got his clout. He, he, went, right he back. went viral, though. He, he, nah, he did his shit. Went. 50 posted. Everybody he raps that shit. shit. But, uh, you don't respect that as a marketing tactic? Nah. I Throwing Diddy that. under the bus? I mean, Diddy's Everybody under the bus. Diddy. He already under, under the bus. bus. He's, He's under the bus. He's just kicking some dirt under the bus. They trying to put point. him under the jail. Yeah, yeah. That's where they trying to put him. But damn, I'm looking like if they did that to R. Kelly, they could do that to anybody. Yeah. And it's crazy, though, because, all right, Diddy does have so they much did. classic music that it's kind of like, it's going to be hard to write him out of history. Yeah. But there was a time period where we all felt like that about R. Kelly. And now right. you can't even really play R. Kelly in a mixed group of people without somebody right. at least acknowledging it. My right. mama and them still is, uh, yeah. let me not tell on them. He still play that shit. Who me? No, we do. Like R. Kelly. Me and my girl, we yeah, play R. Kelly. Like play, we play the remix to ignition. Oh, the remix to ignition. Come on. I did he, got, he, got music. <laughs> he got classic music. He got his shit is in his So you can't step in the name of love no more. Yeah, that's yeah. something like they that's what I'm saying. never stop saying because that that song's so hard. You can't go through the rest of your life without, without hearing. But that's yeah. the same thing. More money, more problems. That's talent. I'm sorry, I'm not giving that up. That's I talent. Like that, ain't, that ain't who he is. That's his talent. We got to separate yeah. those two. His talent, his music. Okay, and then him as a person. Yeah, we don't fuck with him as a person. But okay, what if it came out? What if they, they search those tapes? They find the Diddy's house, and it turns out he's like a serial child. Yeah. You know whater. 
Like I'm, a bad one. Like the worst, the most fucked up shit you ever heard of nah, in your life. Yeah, You're nah, going. Yeah, I'm yeah, just nah, saying, like, hypothetically. Yeah, nah, yeah, because nah. right now it's still yeah, a little blurry. If he was just beating you his girl and shit, much, like, we're, we're not going to stop listening to him because he's beating his girl, right? But we know all kinds of people who beat their girl. Everybody, all them niggas. Where are, are the children accusations at? No, but I'm just saying hypothetically. Like, uh, if, yeah, if, if it was yeah, that bad. I know. You got to leave him alone on that one. Because there's a difference between recording consensual sex all the time. Like, if I'm recording consensual sex all the time, if you know when I fuck you, I'm about to pull out yeah. this camera. You didn't been here before. You know I'm pulling this camera out. This is what Bitch, we do. if you know this the freaky spot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you it's can't more like really the torture. do that when you trying to. The torture and rape accusations. Yeah, yeah, I think you gotta the prove ones. you was being tortured. Now, yeah. when you talk about, like, give me the money shot, Diddy, and all that shit, mm -hmm. then what? Yeah, because... A lot of these females be knowing what's going on, you, be doing it, be down, be willing. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And they be fishing too for that. But that's why, as soon as you really start throwing the kid accusation in mm -hmm. there, that's when it becomes a totally different thing. Yeah. Because yes, grown women, no, granted, grown women get sex trafficked and all kinds of crazy yeah. shit. But for the most part, grown women can kind of make their own decisions. As soon as you start throwing the underage shit in there, it's who like a totally he different was ball. People, though. That's what it says. The neighbor. <laughs> I'm saying who's saying? The guy who said his basketball no, was thrown got, in the other yard. That's what the Ray was for. To get charges too. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying who told them? We I, I, right. Yeah. One of his producers. Oh, the one dude. Yeah. That said he used to try to force him in the shit. Yeah. No, nah, he, he he didn't try. He, he got him involved. He got he got fully cracking. Say you gonna get involved. You gonna get involved. <laughs> Um, I wanted to ask Remo this. Oh. Remo, how do you feel about the accusations that you be acting different around these hoes? In particular, the clip of you with Kazumi on the news that I'm not going to lie, made me laugh my ass off. And especially when Flacco started <coughs> accusing you of it, I was dying. I'm a fan of Kazumi. I fuck with her. So when I first <laughs> met her for the first time, yeah, she probably got me out of my element. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> How you was acting, kid? But they it's, made it a thing. It's like, not just that you were out of your squad. element. He was hating on the homie. He Damn. said about Flacco, he said he ain't getting no pussy. He ain't getting no pussy. Uh, you know a nigga trolling and shit. That's uh, the thing. Uh, nah, he ain't uh, really. He uh, was acting uh, like that, man. Too much. Nah, I was trolling. He's talking about girl. if you go get it. He's talking about stuff, the you know homie when the female. Nah, nah. Hey, 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 come on, man. Yeah, 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 ain't a factor. What we doing? That's uh, great. <laughs> Where can I get that energy from? I'm, I'm, I'm just playing. crazy. They're going to do a Monday show about you. We, we wow. gonna do it anyway. Bro, that's nah, crazy. Okay, let me find out if you act funny. Now, it is, I might it, have to keep it in the office. It is different, care. though, because... We can't bring no bitches uh, around. It is a statement of fact that Flacco apparently seems to get no bitches. Let's be it real. Could be like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's not like a controversial like, yeah. statement. I was just trolling a little he, bit too. He said he don't get no bitches on purpose. He blaming it on his, his religion his now. His religion. He's telling you the religion. What's his religion? Yeah. He, he's a uh, he's a no pussy. Yeah, <laughs> he, he's it's a religion. <laughs> not getting no buns is a religion. Not getting no buns. If, if it was a religion, I don't know hey, though. The way crazy. he was sweating about some, because I said I ain't clowning no more. But the way he was sweating when he made the recoil statement and shit, he was serious. Like the cheese go crazy. It's, like, it's hard to decide what is content and what isn't sometimes with him because like. But you grabbing your head while you saying. But it, him talking, crazy. yo, I know, but like that's. But like they're playing games over there, bro. They're scripted yeah. shit. Dejon went to fucking weigh himself, and the snacks fell out of his. Like, come on! And then Flacco saying some gay shit it's about recoil. Like he really be driving around thinking about some gay ass shit to say to just like yeah get Flacco's some laughs. Gonna say whatever the fuck the craziest shit because he's for engagement. Yeah. But academics is not gonna say some gay shit. Yeah. Academics is not gonna like say that a dude is hot just to get a clip. <laughs> And I'm saying that just because Flacco is a student of <laughs> academics. Yeah. But that's yeah. not a tech. That that's Aiden Ross. That's Adam Twenty Two. Say some gay shit, get a laugh. Ha ha. Mm -hmm. That's us. Maybe that's, that's not. You maybe tell, that's who Flacco's becoming. trying to be everything to everybody. He's trying to dip into the white boy humor lane. That's us. So you think that they just go crazy? What the <laughs> recoil? Yeah. I don't know what his shit hitting for. I'm not sure. What the fuck is y'all talking about? <laughs> because he said it was some Adam shit, so I'm saying. I got to go to the restroom. I'm saying I would Do we say. Agree? What is these niggas talking about? I, I mean, would say some gay thing. shit for a laugh. Flacco is, you know, he's he's he's, 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 he's gay clout. Because, okay, if he's always just Academics Junior, 
then he's never going to get his own fan base. Yeah. If he could become a gay academics. Oh. Now we're mm. talking. If he's academics, but he's willing to sex play, boom, yeah. now we got a new personality. Oh. Right? But Flacco's like academics mixed with a little bit of Dr. Umar, mixed mm. with a lot of, like, maybe he got the Aiden Ross in it in there. Mm. So I think Flacco, Flacco know what the fuck he be doing. Yeah. Flacco, he, he, but he, I don't know. Kill squad. Shout out Barry uh, Gordy. Barry Gordy in the yeah. building. Yo, y'all are really married to. You looking like six nine? What are you doing? You said what? You look like six nine with the the Kill Squad mask. This, 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 this gonna be the most popular one. That's the most popular yeah. one. You guys making those now? Yeah. Where they did you get that? Yeah, what is that? Hat? Kiko in in Dallas. But since it went so viral, we it's it's our shit. We're who's, doing a collab. Who's that Japanese fucking uh, Takashi Asha America? Mariano. Yes, yeah, that's it reminds what, me of him, right? Yeah, yeah. His colorway definitely. That was is that like, one. Yeah, for sure. Damn. Um. Okay. What What are we talking about? We got any topics left? Let me pull up my. We ain't talk about what went to DW. We ain't talk about the meat meal. Oh yeah. No, nah, not meat meal. The Diddy. I keep saying all the wrong shit. Yeah. Kendrick versus Drake. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to get uh, focused if we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna have to have DW in here. All right. Let me read a couple more, more of these that came in. You never interviewed a tattoo Six. artist. I do Mellow's Mellow Bucks tattoos, and I got ten years worth of stories. I'm only twenty seven, and I got some wild stories. Okay. Uh, that's not really gonna do it. Hello, you out of jail? Come holla at us. <laughs> Mohawk Diddy was definitely spiking shit. Diddy is Nick Nikki Barnes' godson. Hashtag Freak of the Week. Okay. Um, but what was the thing I was just reading? Oh yeah, no, because that's that's a weird thing I had happen to me at the porn convention is that dudes will come up to me and just start telling me like how bad their addiction is and how they're addicted to heroin for ten years and how they did all this time in prison and shit. And I'm kind of just like, okay, like what, like why, like. That that's crazy, and then I realized at some point this is them asking for an interview. They think that just because they did mad heroin and went to jail and shit that they yeah. get an interview. I'm like, yeah. I, I told one dude I was like, normally we would be looking for like somebody who went through all that and then accomplished <laughs> something that, incredible uh, with their uh, life. He's, he's possibly relapsing. He's next looking week. at me like I'm fucking crazy because I'm saying that. I'm like, nah, like. I can't just like interview everybody who was a heroin addict. Like that's why we have software and underbelly. Honestly, yeah. That's pretty much like for yeah, that shit, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, That's that lane right there. Damn, I'm surprised you haven't been on there. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't even. I just got hip to him. When, for real? About, when I looked up Sharp. Okay, me, me saying that you should go on there is like a subtle diss in a lot of people's minds probably because they do a lot of <laughs> like lot addicts and shit. But they do have a lot of, like Lush was on there. I yeah. fucked a bunch of girls who was on there. Yeah. He interviewed regular porn stars and shit. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I tried to get OG Suicide I don't really on have there. Addict talk for him. I, I I'm tried like to, a rich I, I tried addict. to text Mark and say, "Get this dude OG Suicide on there," and he, he seemed like he thought that I was telling him to interview a fucking rapper. And now he is a rapper, but <laughs> it's more like no, like the OG Suicide interview I did. Like, regardless of how we fell out, yeah, that's a fucking yeah. crazy story, bro. Yeah, he got history. He's got shot mad times. He tried to kill himself. He tried to. This, that's this, how he got his name. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> on some random shit. Yeah, what are you doing? What's up, Cookie Su- Man? OG Suicide because Cub was got killed. You don't know him? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I got Cub on Instagram. I got Cub on Instagram. I think I talked to Cub before. You and him are kind of alike. You be doing the motivational speaking shit. You should get together with him and do some motivating. I'm not gonna get together with nobody. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. It's for the content, you just go live. I'm cool. If, oh, if he want to do some motivational shit, I'm down for that all the time. Damn, I left my drink out there. Uh, all right. Well, but I'm not going to get it. So t- we- tell them to bring it in here so we can talk nah, about nah. the ultimate squad. The Transformers have all been brought together to defeat Drake. Yes, Drake. You have had a pretty much immaculate. 15, 16 year career. You sold more records than anybody. You do crazier numbers than everybody. But, Drake, it turns out that a ton of your peers fucking hate you so because you fuck their bitches and because you probably offended them in some other ways. So now we have Future, Kendrick Lamar, Rick Ross, Nav, The Weeknd, and probably more. Not the Weeknd, too. Coming together. The Weeknd been on the fuck Drake shit. But, Damn, but it's wild. That. It's wild because uh, it's yeah. it's not like they're like saying, hey, we're clicking up to take you down. But it is like they are coming up, coming together and making a shitload of music and kind of like Drowning slowly getting the point across. 
that Drake is not the dude, that Drake is not cool. To me, this is like the biggest existential threat to Drake's entire career that he's ever had to deal with because he's risking right now. Fuck with Drake. He's risking right now starting to look like a dickhead to the people. Because they're so, they're invested in creating this 21 narrative. Twenty one ain't gonna choose sides. Nah, I think Drake. I think Metro I think gonna Drake, be twenty one friend. That's gonna be the one because twenty one too solid. He Drake can overpower a lot of that shit that's going on. But okay. Drake can fuck them niggas up with his back to back. He could. But did you see that clip he of him talking on stage? What, bro? The clip of him talking on stage, he sounds like he's ducking it. Like, he don't really want to get involved. He probably don't. I mean, Kendrick he, he is a beast. He don't want to back, Look, to back to You Kendrick. don't want to go, nobody want to go head to head with go Kendrick. Head, yeah, go fuck with somebody else. Period. But we talking about, like, if a nigga want to just, like, not pay it too much attention and kind of big dog it, he can kind of big dog that. I think if Drake wants to continue to hold onto the role that he has carved out for himself in hip-hop, he needs to go full this track on Kendrick in the Lamar. Back. I think he need to go no. like, yeah, I think not he need Kendrick. to go, but I'm not going to say Kendrick. He I'm need, saying like maybe yeah. all of them. Maybe yeah, whoever the fuck won't beef. All yeah. Whoever wants some beef, go ahead. Go ahead and fuck them up this last time. I, after that, it should be unquestionable. But people still question Tom Brady too when he, when he, um, you know, oh, no. the balls was inflated and he won I after that. Head up with Kendrick. You probably get one. You don't want to go hand up. But head, if you put everybody in was, it's going to be some shit. I think he can get Kendrick nowadays. Because he's yeah, going like, to like like That's what I'm saying. Oh, Kendrick probably, but like, but Kendrick, everybody, this is Kendrick plus Future plus Metro Bumin. But all even, these guys on, but linking Drake together. Fuck with, they can't they can't fuck that was with all his little bro at Drake, work. bro. They was all his little bro at they work. They big boy. dogs, though. Don't get me wrong. They big dogs, but they can't fuck with Drake. Future Metro Bumin, that beef with Drake, come on, cuz. Be real. Anybody really, like, for real. And You're saying that Drake could wash Future. I'm saying, yeah, like if they went to rap it and back li- listen, and forth, one yeah. individual going to war with Drake probably doesn't stand a chance. But this is not that. This is a consolidated group of yeah, some no. of the no, biggest names in music. But the Drake, weekend, they can future, drown them out. The, future, these seriously. are the greats. These are the greats. It's yeah, gonna take are good, an right. Avengers style squad to take it, him out. What I'm saying is, for Drake to make a diss song on them will be easier because all of them once needed Drake. It know. never worked when the ops click up though. Drake put them niggas on if you want to keep it. It never worked when the ops click up. Like at what but point, we've never seen ops like this future. clicking up in such a way. But like, he did. They did put on such a level. How, when all your old ops clicked up, did they win? It felt like it for a little while. See, but then it only didn't work because they are not anywhere near as talented as me, and I have the determination of a giant in this space. And Brick Baby better. And Brick Baby better. And Remo better. And DW Flame better, etc. I'm just saying, when ops click up, they don't win. That's not always yeah, true. facts. I ain't seen no ops click up who won. Everybody is somebody's op. Yeah. They don't click up and win, though. They don't. The, the God, strongest the, the, op the by itself guys. always seem to win, especially if he just standing on business. Do you remember? Okay, NBA Youngboy about as popular as it gets in look rap. At, look at NBA. But, do you up. remember the Fredo Bang video where Dirk... Annalie Choppa, Fredo Bang, et cetera, et cetera. They all got together and did that video together. No. That was probably like that that coalition built to challenge NBA Youngboy. It's probably like the number one thing that could be done to take down Youngboy. The problem obviously is that even with Dirk involved, it's like it's it's not I mean, yeah, like Okay, I guess I'm kind of yeah, giving your point you now. Yeah. About? Like, yeah. What you saying? You yeah, just said yeah, what yeah, I said. Yeah. said it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, my thing, I, I heard the verse. Was Kendrick verse really that crazy? Though? Nah, it's just that he name dropped. That's what I'm. That's where I'm at with it. Because like, if you listen to the verse, we like one nigga's name drop. Like, oh, speak on who yeah. you talking about. He could Kendrick. Yeah. Like, fuck all that, nigga. Like, it, nigga, it's just fuck me. The big three. Nigga, but it's just but big you me, still nigga. on the track with another nigga too, who got beef for him too. So it's not just you. And what yeah. Kendrick said is mostly some rap shit. Yeah. But this is the thing. We haven't, like, this is a warning shot. This is to let the people know hey, he's a bitch if you don't respond. And if he responds, then you know that Kendrick's going to jump out the window and be mm-hmm. saying all this crazy shit that we probably never he heard that level of it. energy from him before. Yeah. And the, it's my, already ready. Saying he the king. My whole thing, too, it's is. in the cut already. If he the, yeah, he already yeah. ready for that. Yeah. He's probably in the cut. He already ready for that. But I think. I think. All right, we're just talking bars. If they go bar for bar right now, Drake versus Kendrick, who y'all think going to win? Come up on I fire. think they're not even too far apart, if you ask me. I think Drake watching shit right now. I think Nowadays, Drake hard, bro. Drake watching shit. But, okay, just, they both can get help with 
putting records together. We all know that Kendrick Lamar is not above this. He's written records for Baby Keem. He's probably got other people that could help him put together his crazy ass records. So a lot of what it's going to come down to, let's just assume that they both put their best possible foot forward. A lot of it's going to come down to character, personality, who people like more. And yes, Drake may be the bigger superstar, but mm-hmm. when it comes down to it, Kendrick Lamar's image that he's cultivated for all these years is an artist, is that he's a purist, that he is like the most him, the no most bullshit. uncompromised artist of our generation. And in comparison, we all look at Shout Drake as somebody who's yeah. unbelievably talented, but has largely used his talents to make radio hits. And yes, he's made every single kind of music, but in many ways, I think that's kind of his weakness is that, you know, he's not viewed as like a pure artist in the way that Kendrick is. So I feel like it's going to, unless Drake, re, Drake is going to have to bury him in order to be viewed as the victor if this really gets to the point that they're making like full songs about each other. And if Drake doesn't answer this, then he's going to look terrible. I think this sure. shall be a good one. You know what I'm saying? Once yeah. they do start going back and forth, I think they're going to both make good music. You feel me? That we can all fuck with. And I don't know. I think Kendrick Lamar in this situation will be the underdog. People love going for the underdog. Like, even when he was yes. going against Pusha T, people were like, oh, Pusha T. But he shouldn't have stooped down to Pusha it's T. Like, okay, you know what I'm saying? When Jay-Z and Nas beef, this is so much like when Jay-Z and Nas beef because Jay-Z's image was the guy who was jiggy, who was blinged out, who was making these big radio Fuck hits. He had, he had way bigger numbers. He had way bigger uh, nah, you know, nah, nah. sales at that time. Nas had the image that is almost exactly like Kendrick Lamar, where he's yeah. been viewed as the purest, the lyricist, the artist. And ultimately, like I thought that Jay-Z made the better diss song, but a huge percentage of hip-hop gave it to Nas because Nas was the uncompromised one. He's yeah. the one who has the image of being the real, pure artist. You get 10 more points for that. Like You get what I'm saying? Just for, say, k he really coming from over here doing and he's pure. He ain't got too much bullshit on him. We, we would say he's pure. He ain't got too much shit, shit on him. Everybody's going for that because they want to see the top. Everybody want to see the top dog get brought down. Like, and you're not supposed to just want to see the top dog get brought down all the time. But fuck it, let I them make us go. Let them let them fight so we but, can see. You know, like, piss. Uh, Pusha T's piss. He's like, I should have had a goddamn verse on that future album. <laughs> yeah, I was, like, I was the OG Drake hater. What the fuck is going on? Probably. Charlemagne's pissed. Why didn't he get a verse? Damn. I feel like every time Kendrick come at all or he He's make a intro. comeback, he always dissing Drake, though. Yeah, yeah, like, That's me like too. a little too, uh, cheesy, right? Ah. Uh, hey. He's a good out to but have, But he right? one of those who can diss. Like, you that's know, not it. It's a good niggas, out to have. Certain niggas, you, why are you even trying to diss? Or you yeah. might not even get a reply. It's like sauce he nigga who could diss. How will it get with J. Cole? <laughs> J. Cole is one of Drake's few allies in this. I mean, we really don't know who his real allies yeah. are, but at least in terms of people who clearly have at least a little bit of tension with Kendrick, if J. Cole... If Drake and J. Right Cole there. came together like that, on, they're a whole Transformer. But they've done it before. They you, fuck shit up. You think bro. that Drake and J. Cole cooking up a mixtape right now to go against if these they guys? they do, they, it, it, it'll go. But J. Cole's not like the, the he, ally that Drake wants because he's, he's not going to. He want a more fun one or He's what? not going to go overboard with but it. But they got a homie in common, too. Yeah, who? 21. 21, mm-hmm. I think. 21, that's both of the. They the both mo- fuck with The him, most heavy. street one out of the whole thing. He ain't going to patch this up. He's probably looking at this what like a bunch, of, a bunch of goofies like arguing. He can bring them two together to go. He said bring J. J. Cole and what? J. Cole and Drake together. No, but they're already like together. Kind of, they just did first person shooter. Yeah. Oh, they don't need any bringing together. Which is a better song than the shit that which they just was, dropped. When did they drop that, though? Mm, a few months back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All the last uh, project came out. Uh, yeah, I don't know, cuz. Yeah, <laughs> let, them, let them start firing missiles. Yeah. No, That's what rap needs. And right now, Cole Washington nigga's lyrically. I think Cole, lyrically, he been, he been killing Drake off. Right yeah. now, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna well, oh yeah. If you he just, been, if rapping, been hearing though. his recent he been shit, rapping. he been rapping like better than what. Okay, but can I just throw something out there? I, I know a guy in Canada, and he sent me a DM, and he said, who you think L.A. is rocking with, Drake or Kendrick? And I thought about it for a second, and I was like, I don't know, because I'm going to be real. I think Kendrick kind of left his, like, L.A. street audience behind at a certain point, right? Man, all the street niggas that's real street niggas salute that. 
They might That's salute him. That's what we trying to do. But I don't think they listen to his music like that. It don't matter. But if you talk he about a dog artsy. in a fight, if you talk about a dog in a fight, yeah, I think LA gonna we go all go K dot. That's just yeah, like yeah. That's, I think that's, that's a what man we do. Though. But that's think, a man though. Matter of fact, yeah, yeah that's, that's a like mandatory. The Lakers. It's like it's the Lakers. Uh, not, but do you think mandatory. if Drake drops uh, if Drake drops a better song, do you think that everybody in LA is just gonna be like, nah, Kendrick got that? They gonna play Drake from LA? No, no, no. Everybody ain't gonna do that. One thing about LA, they will like like one thing about the whole West Coast, so let me say that, they will go, oh, if a nigga hit you with a banger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If somebody hits you that. with a banger, they're going to be like, oh, what yeah. you going to do? Yeah. Do something so we could be like, oh, you know, so I don't know. But if he kill him off, playing we Biggie can't back deny. to back during the Tupac beef. Let's act like Biggie yeah. wasn't banned from the club. Yeah, niggas certain niggas was like, Pac Cali. ain't really even from the West niggas, Coast. Yeah. Let me you ask you mean? this. If we were to poll every member no. Of Balls. the no, Diddy. Oh, not that. No. If we were to poll, okay. Now I get what you mean. Poll. <laughs> if we were to ask every member of your hood, which is allegedly one of the largest hoods in LA, so we have a nice sample size, fifty thousand people. I don't know, sixty thousand no, no, people. No. If we were to ask every single it's one it's of them, us. what percentage of your hood has heard Kendrick's most recent album? N- I'm gonna say. None of mine. <laughs> I give twenty percent. Like, I say like forty five percent. Forty five percent. Yeah. I say like in mine probably like twenty three percent. And how many of them do you think were like really rocking out to it, driving around it's listening just to he it? Really so rapping. You're not counting everybody in the pen though. <laughs> what I'm saying is he, in the he's really rapping. Man. A lot of niggas don't want to hear really rapping. No more. Yeah. That's just what's going on. Okay, but here's the thing: if I were to go to the Pitchfork Music Festival, which is going to largely be like 30 to 40 year old white people, and I were to go to that audience and ask what percentage of them had listened to Kendrick's most recent album, it's going to be like 90%. Yeah, for sure. I say that to say that like Kendrick is coming off his worst se- selling album, and his Are audience. You the last album. When, when you look out. at those numbers that Kendrick oh, yeah. does, it's like his audience, I feel like, is. Massively, people that don't really normally sure. listen to a shitload of hip hop. 100. That's their guy. Yeah. 30, 40 year old white people. Kendrick Lamar is like the great rapper. Like they Kendrick can say Lamar. they listen to rap. Yeah, they yeah. say they listen to rap because, because he's done a lot of things that rappers haven't done. He, he has a fucking Pulitzer Prize. They but, listen to Big Creek you know? still. Well, that yeah. could also be on the playlist. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Hey, look. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Bro, you, my you, life? you heard Kendrick Lamar last album? <laughs> no, I didn't. You ain't heard it. See? I ain't heard you see? I'm I haven't either. Yeah. I thought you were saying Kendrick Lamar's music. Oh, his music in general. Of course, yeah, good kid, yeah, Matt yeah, yeah. Of course that's we heard Kendrick said. Lamar. Yeah, because we know remember. Kendrick Lamar is one of the most lethal motherfuckers the last, with the words. I lived in Long Beach when Good Kid, Mad City came out. That was like the album that you heard from people's cars. Mm-hmm. Like, that was the yeah, only yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, all yeah, motherfuckers listen to. Yeah, yeah, for little Yeah, yeah, we know I wouldn't say he's really like courted that audience since. He went in the the... The Pimp of Butterfly is like some black power, like historical shit. You know, it's like even on his BL matters. That, yeah, oh, yeah. Matter shit. Drank. Who was that shot? Who was that? that was off. Good, Mad, Good City. Kid, Mad City. I think oh, he like yeah. he skipped past that part of his career very very quickly mm. and went right, on to, right, right. to things that were loftier. He went I don't some more higher him. power after I don't, that. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't blame him. At this point, you have know said he yeah. already knew. And you got Dr. Dre and certain people in your corner that's telling you what makes sense. Mm. I would say we kind of want Kendrick to even lead the West a little more, too. Like, you yeah. know, he, he leading with his rap and shit, but yeah, we, we, we kind of do want to see come more. Point guard. See him, yeah, point guard come out, do more. That's what we that's what we on the West Coast want to see from Kendrick Lamar. We want to see Kendrick Lamar come step outside, come, you know, just fuck around a little more. Maybe I ain't been seeing, you been seeing? Maybe I, he I'm popped just saying. He going to pop out of Yeah, because he, he wanted the people that yeah. did give a lot of people hope, you know, and even he's really doing hip-hop. He really hip-hop. We ain't yeah. even got that in the music industry like that no more. So we do want to see Kendrick Lamar pop out yep. and not be so Double high back. power if that's what he's being or so Give sectioned off. a little bit of game. Yeah, yeah come holler. Come holler at the, come come holla at the young yeah. dogs. Come on, man. Uh, uh, one thing, everybody rooting for you. Yep. I doubt it be any drama. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. I'm talking about every side. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, would you rather see Future and Drake go head to head or Kendrick and Drake go head to head? Future and Drake. Kendrick really? and Drake. Mm-hmm. You would? Uh, for a battle, for I would battle, say Kendrick I want to see Kendrick, Kendrick and, you know what I'm saying? 
I want to see two niggas that know each other that have been traveling around the world for two, three years because they're exposing. Yeah, they know. But what would a future diss laundry, track sound like? The laundry, huh? Sound, sound like a future diss track. Like, like, there's too much. It's a slide. 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 What it's going to sound like? But it's going to be heat, but it ain't going to be like a diss. It ain't going to be the MC type of. Yeah. Or maybe it will. Maybe we go bring that out. But there. Drake's not about to do that either. Yeah, he is. That I, nigga think, said, I think Drake finna respond to this nigga. Bro, he, he didn't do it to Meek Mills. He sung to that nigga. What you mean? He mar- After he, he dropped the first one when he was rapping, on and then the, that, that one ain't, yeah. That shit still was there. like, that wasn't Kendrick. Kendrick will eat that shit up. You can't come with Kendrick with that. I don't know. I feel like the shit Kendrick. Hit, I think he about what did Kendrick even say? Back, the nigga just said, "Fuck the big three, nigga." I'm it's saying, just big that me. Was, like, that's that, that was that. Like, that really that was that. that so now let him dedicate nigga two days in the studio just to you. Imagine if Drake. Did you hear Drake W freestyle? Listen, the nigga could go crazy. Drake if you is want hot. To. What are we talking about? We talk about two talking of about the power. We, we talk about two goats. It's gonna be a battle. I'm saying that he can't go bar for bar with Kendrick. He can't do it. He can though. He can. He can't do it. I but think also, you and lyrical, I know that oftentimes battles don't really come down to who's the best lyricist. Comes down to the best, ho- the whole thing, the yeah. whole. But the punchlines are going to be way crazier coming from Kendrick. I feel like if he puts his mind to punchline this, like it's going to be funny because okay. he's dope. Drake has all kinds of shit, messy shit over the years. Not yeah. that messy, but somewhat you know nothing messy. Nothing about Kendrick. What do we know about Kendrick? The shit that he tells us on the album. Tells us, it. He told us he was an alcoholic. We had no idea. He told us he cheated on his wife. We had no idea. He, he had to tell us. Exactly. So, so what's what Drake going to say? Are you gonna diss you? You're an alcoholic? The other boys don't <laughs> got money like him. Them other boys once needed him. They all linked on him. He got something to say about mm. them. You don't have nothing to say. He don't even upload pictures. What you going to say? Mm. How I dress? Drake, he, Drake a motherfucker. He knows some shit. I feel like Drake knows he some don't shit. Do <laughs> y'all see the subliminals he was throwing at we, Metro Booming? Like he, he knows some Metro shit. Metro be outside. Kinda. He always. Ain't no kinda. He For a minute, he was going, like, doing this. His mom shit. Yeah, that yeah. was, like, a year and that. But he still was outside during that. Like, literally. I was in the A the whole time. So, who gonna win? At you know what I'm saying? Day. That's yeah. when I, I just lived in the like A like from 2022 to 23. Hmm. If Kendrick and Drake went, who, who gonna win? I already picked. I told you, my dog. I think, I think Drake got it, man. I think I Drake know, should it. win, but I feel like the people might just end up giving it to Kendrick. Also, I don't know if Drake really wants this fight. I don't know if he's going to give it what he should. should it's he the Lakers, it? man. It's just like, but like he, you asked me. The, the other reason why he can't really turn this down is because we all saw with the Pusha T thing that he claimed that he had this deadly diss track, and then he just never dropped it. And that's... It's not enough. Like, we all got, like, with this cliffhanger where he said that he was going to drop this fucking career-ending track about Pusher, right? And then Jay Prince Jr. or Jay Prince tells him not to, and then he just never did. Yeah. So if he, does, if he doesn't if he does do this, then, like, what the Hold fuck? Hold on, but Drake is so good. If he says he has a kill track, is you should believe it. You know what I'm saying? That's like if Kobe told me, nigga, I could go crazy, but I'm not. I'm going to believe yeah, you gotta it. You got to believe it. Because he's went crazy multiple times. He's been stopped multiple times, too, though. Nah, that don't count, though. So, I mean, you like, if I go crazy, I could go crazy like Kobe. I could. You, got, you got 10 points this third quarter. They really locking your ass up out there, Kobe. <laughs> like, for real, this ain't your night. <laughs> you talking about next know. time you I be, see? I believe he can hang I with think anybody. I, I, he can hang, man. But he he'll go a 30-point quarter when a nigga get to talking yeah. to him like that. And nigga Drake, he's he going like, crazy on the low. You know what I'm saying? I he feel go like crazy uh, on the high. I feel like people he don't give him the crazy. credit. I feel like niggas ain't giving him the credit. Everybody, you automatically just saying lyrically. Yeah, I feel like niggas don't give him not, credit because he make good music. I'm not but going they, against him. He's not making good music. He's not making good music. He's just like, he make good music. Tracks. But lyrically, that he, he make great music, right? He's a top dog. Lyrically, I think lyrically. You got most shit in the media for him to take and turn into music than he has on what Adam said first and foremost. So it's like when you going bar for bar on a diss track, we're talking about who's going to roast the most. What you going to double back on a million jokes? Like, like you're going to have to say the same thing three or four times. It's a whole song. Two verses about Kendrick Lamar. What is Drake going to say? I can't think uh, of it. Yeah. 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 He's going to have to like really reveal a side of Kendrick that we haven't Seen because he's never been a punching bag. Drake he's never got been a, a laughing big stop. pick on the net, bro, with the meeting the hand and the phone, bro. Yeah. It, you 
Come on, bro. So you gonna recycle a whole bunch of shit we know about Drake already and just Hell rap about yeah. it? It's Is it gonna it, work? Cause it ain't been in the diss track. Yes, it's gonna go crazy. I don't know, cause we gotta see. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's gonna go crazy. But I did see a poll that crazy, Vlad TV right? did, and Drake, it was like sixty yeah, percent was rocking with Kendrick see Lamar them, over we, Drake. Yeah, mm-hmm. we gotta see them go uh-huh. for, because head to head. The type, I feel Kendrick like the underdog. Real hip, like yes, Drake might be the biggest artist in the world, but like it's a lot of those fans are fucking women and kids. And like people that are not ultimately going to be the ones deciding who wins or loses in this battle. And I feel like if Kendrick gets on a track and says some shit about you were hiding your baby from the world and you knocked up a porn star, say all, all these like stupid things that, that are team Drake, I mean, as, right? As, but, uh, but all but these the things are not really crazy. like that good. But somehow, coming from the God MC Kendrick, I just imagine that people are going to give him way too much <laughs> He's credit. Right though, just they're going to give him too much credit you know for some simple feel shit. About it. Hey. But it do be simple. But also, hey. Kendrick, I mean, he's such a lyricist that I wouldn't put it past him to go and uncover all kinds of crazy shit that we don't know. Re- Remo don't like too many West Coast artists. Let's, nah. let's get, no, I'm if not the crazy trying to thing even is, do that. Kendrick used to be my favorite rapper, though. Like, for all real. Right, until, so, like, listen, a recent, you don't think he could get back in that bag? What happened? He just stopped dropping music and everything right. just went Black Lives Matter. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, at one point, like, nah, but you everybody could watch that. Though. Like, the nigga Remo, Kendrick, I'll be going hard. The niggas right now probably like, damn, Remo don't fuck with Kendrick. But, like, nah. And like, I think seriously. that that opinion is largely indicative of the rap population. Because when I when Good Kid Mad City came out and I was riding BMX every fucking day out in the streets with young ass 16, 17, 18 year old kids out riding BMX around us and they were fucking listening to Kendrick. And I think those same kids. Nowadays, the eighteen-year-old kids, twenty-year-old kids, they have no clue. For sure, that's a, that's some old-school shit. So, now. who you got? I mean, I want. I think Drake should. Pr- <laughs> the The diss songs that I have in my head, I think Drake should win. I feel like the public is going to give Kendrick more credit than he deserves if it does come down to this. As, as, as so, what do you think it'll feel like? Uh, what would it do to Drake's career if Kendrick didn't win? I think it'll, it, he just hasn't really taken a blow to his ego like that. Like, yeah, he kind of lost against Pusha, but it's, it was like. He lost with a technicality because a nigga <laughs> revealed some information we didn't know. Like, yeah. if, you go, if you go listen to W Freestyle and the story you added on or whatever, I feel like lyrically the nigga, uh, Drake got him. But what I do think could really be a danger to Drake's career is like the coalition of a shitload of different people coming together. If I hear a song with future Rick Ross and Kendrick and Nav on the hook. That's weak, though. Niggas got to click up to take out. Nah, that's crazy. But that might be what you have to do. This. We all wondered what the end of the Drake era was going to be like. And we all thought that it was going to be a bigger or better or more talented artist coming in and, like, capturing his fans and, like, selling more than him and shit. Maybe it's a whole shitload of rappers doing enough damage to him that he's no longer got the cool guy status that he has in hip hop. It's fucking hard to imagine. But it's not. It's very it's not, hard to imagine. This is not the end of the Drake era. Let's man. do a poll. You want to do a some poll? Even, even if he lost this little beef. Some people would w- say that it's be already the end. the end of the Drake era because of the fact that if you look at his last five projects, yes, there's been hit songs from them and everything, but none of those five projects are viewed in the same light as, as shit that he put out earlier in his career. That's and part because of it, it's not his prime pa- no more. Part of it is the fact that he puts out 20 fucking song projects, 30 oh. song projects, and part of it is the fact that he's My. putting out... Um, you know, a fucking dance album. One of the last five albums was yeah. like the Dark Lane demo tapes thing that was obviously a bunch of throwaways and shit. But I mean, you know. I mean, Lil Wayne did that too, you know, on his way. Because they doing too much. I mean, they did everything. What yeah. ended the Wayne era? Um, I he got th- locked up for a couple of years. I feel like that might have been I it, I think right? it's more so you get hot for so long. Eventually, you, even when you stay hot, you die down. Let the next nigga get hot and be hot, but you still just heat. But people you are sick. I'm people are sick of Drake being the god of hip hop. That's some hater shit. I that's see like, it on Twitter. I see people yeah. wanting bro. That's to some hater shit. That's cool. Yes, that's but, that, but that's shit. how it goes at that's a certain goes. point. Yeah. By the time we got to the end of that Ja Rule era, yes, Fifty might have delivered the death blow, mm. but the people fucking people were sick shit. and tired of hearing this little motherfucker croon on tracks with Ashanti. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but they got sick people got tired too. of that's what I'm saying. People got tired of Tom Brady winning. You gotta give it to fifty. Fifty but fucking if, knew when his era was over and he kinda fell back and started doing other things. Did Drake's he know that it was over? I think he knew when it was over once when he Kanye went head to head with album Kanye. Sales, yeah. And I was I was a, a fifty fan to the point where like I was downloading every mixtape that he was putting out and listening to it, two thousand ten, mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. 
But at a certain point, it just wasn't hitting like that anymore. And it wasn't. Oh, and four. It was just that time to just step back a little bit. Oh, four was. 50 like, came out winning. He went in there. Oh, four was like uh, the G Unit album. Mm-hmm. By like oh six get Richard, is I when you, oh five is when you start to get to uh, the massacre. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then I think that no, you the said massacre. that you were listening to him two thousand ten. I was listening to fifty like up until the point that I moved oh, to Long Beach, okay. and right around the time I went to uh, Long Beach was when I started to. You know like, when you have a rapper that you love, yeah. but then they start to just their flow starts not hitting the same, yeah. the beats ain't hitting the same. Yeah. All of a sudden, there's other dudes you like more, and you're just like, damn. It like, was right after the massacre to me. Me, yeah. you know, me and French Montana. At the candy shop and I, all I was listening to every French Montana tape, and then at, a, at one point, and I hate it because I like I listened to his new album. He's still hard as fuck. Yeah. But at one point, I just stopped listening to every mixtape, and I feel bad because I like fuck with him as a person. Mm. But like with 50, that happened. With Cam, that happened. I like 50's intro songs, though. On all his shows, oh, all them his motherfuckers shows, is crazy. crazy. They like yeah. old school 50. Yeah, like, yeah. like yeah. Them motherfuckers is crazy. He still got that. He yeah, he got, got the that. same old school 50. Yeah, if y'all want to go, that. man, his little intros, BMF, all that mm-hmm. shit. Oh, Jamie, like, all that. That yeah, back yeah. Then, um, baby's cut going crazy still. Some, somebody donated $10, level one African. Okay, and said shout out to Adam for allowing Z Rel to do a no jumper reunion on back on food stamps. Mm-hmm. They needed the money for Smack Side Tooth and Z Rel's lawyer fees. R I P back on food stamps. Holy shit! I didn't, I didn't read that before I read it. That was intense. <laughs> Fuck Smack. I'm Smack his other side too, fuck. On the dead homies. Who's Smack? <laughs> Keep going. And that has been the No Jumper Show. <laughs> Me and Remo got to interview Jace. It's going down. One last donation. K- K- Tilly, KT said Drake the money, Cole the realist, Kendrick the mad scientist. For Kendrick to win, he has to be good kid mad city. Well, yeah, I feel you. <laughs> there you go. All right. I feel like uh, we've, we've done what we had to do. What was that, two, two hours, 25 minutes? That seems satisfactory. All right, I appreciate everybody who watched this. Thank you very much to the Kill Squad yeah, 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 on the yeah, other yeah, side yeah, of this yeah, table. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Remo <laughs> coming through and uh, doing some content with us. Bro, hey, if you want to like hang out with me in Los Angeles in real life, the time is coming because my sitch is about to go on a trip for two weeks. She's going overseas. Oh, yeah. let's cut. Let's go do let's something. Do let's something. do some shit. Yeah, let's do win. some shit. We need to have another Poethon like we did with Big Seth. Let's send my yeah. somewhere too. Let's do it. That's not like the most active thing we could do. Oh, we should have like a house party at my house, but like just me and you and the homies. Yeah. yeah. Should my girl would come back and she'd be like, why does it smell like backwards in there? Yeah, what the it's fuck is this? Crack it in there. Mm. We get, it's two weeks. Let's two weeks. A, let's get an air CNC. Let's do a bender. Yeah, Compa and style. And we, we get it. We get an air CNC for a weekend. And we're gonna be in New York doing the same thing. We should do a Crip reality show. Get get a shitload of Crips in one place. Is Something funny's gonna happen. I can do that. Yeah, like a I Rico. Can do that. <laughs> <laughs> like a Rico. <laughs> Free Crip Matt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, you gotta bring the, the good ones though. Kazumi, the Kazumi versus a hundred Kip Crips. Yeah. Oh, that'd be dope. Just her in a room with a hundred Crips. Doesn't that sound viral? What? Sound like great. Uh, uh, that, what is you talking about? What no, is, yeah, no. Don't put her in a room it's full the of verses. full of niggas. That's weird. If we put it's her the versus challenge, you know how it'd be like the rapper versus thirty. Oh, if we put Kazumi, oh, that's what you say. Yeah. I'm like, what y'all talking? If about? If we put Kazumi with a hundred crips, I bet about fifteen of them are gonna get hard. Yeah. The rest of them are going to get stage fright from all the other Crips watching them fuck, and they ain't even going to be able oh, wait, to wait, beat wait, it up. Wait, 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 wait. I thought you were talking I about something you. else. I know. Well, at I first, that was what I was talking bro, about. But then I, I started thinking, like, tripping, bro. they should, they should I, hit. I, come on, I'm man. In there. If we I'm could not get, in there. If we could get 100 a Crips. I'm not in there. 100 I'm Crips getting first. tested for STDs so that they could fuck Kazumi Raw is OD. We get tested all the time. I think the Crips get burned the most. The blood's in the Crips. We know why. What do they get? Crips. <laughs> next time. Yeah. Next time. Till next time yeah. on No Jumper. Till yeah. next time. That's crazy. Shout out Remo. Shout out DW Flame. Shout out Brick Baby. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> that was C. Lab.